Here we are. Can everybody see me and hear me? Everything good? Right. Here we go. Yeah, I think Carolina is getting Stroud all day. I looked at their schedule too. Not a lot of wins, even potential wins. They might beat the Broncos and that's it. Uh, no, drop top. That's not the plan. I might do something on my Vita. I could go get my Vita, but you wouldn't be able to watch, so I don't know what that would do. Okay. I think we're good on all fronts here. So... This is a 10,000 subscriber celebration stream. We got to 10,000 a couple days ago. We're going to stream for 10 straight hours here. I might have to leave this stream and start another one at some point. I might stream from a different location, but the goal is to just stream for about 10 hours. So, we're going to try to have as much fun as we can. There's a lot of sports on today. Basketball, college football, playoff baseball. Oregon versus UCLA is off to a pretty good start. Both teams scoring. Uh, so that's a decent start to the day. So, going to go ahead and get it out of the way now. Please like the stream if you haven't already. We've got uh, about 17 likes in the stream right now. <clears throat> you can be... Um, if you're new to the channel, sub. You can see we're 322 subs short of a new October uh, goal, 10,500. Become a channel member for $2 or $5 a month. I'm updating the uh, emojis now to include uh, everyone's new favorite player, Tariq Woolen. And uh, we also take donations in the form of super chats and tips. I have goals for all this set on the bottom left of the screen. Um, if you want to tip, do exclamation point tip in the chat or click the link at the top of the description. And uh, yeah, those are the best ways to support the stream and keep the channel growing past 10,000. Yeah, David, I mean, he's probably going to do better than Wilson just by default, right? Like, how can you not do better than Wilson when Wilson's scoring less than 15 points a game? It's almost impossible for anybody else to be worse. Yeah, DJ, not a good game. I'll give you five bucks if you want to something. I'm not going to do that, Scarecrow. Hey, Alejandro. What's up, everybody? So what do we think about DJU now? I don't know. It's a little confusing. I'm starting to think the Panthers don't trade Burns or more. They got so much for McCaffrey, they're going to think they should get like four first round picks for those guys. Ah. <sighs> Man, what happened to Phil Jerkovic? He's not doing nothing this year, is he? Nothing. DJ's better than Spencer Rattler at this point by a long shot. He just had a bad game today, and I'm not sure what to make of it.
Yeah, DTR is interesting. I'm not sure I'm super into it yet, but it's interesting for sure. Is that a catch? That looks like a catch. Thank you, Austin. Ethan, that would require the Broncos pick to be like number one or top three at least and our pick to be top ten. I think that's unlikely. Well, <clears throat> you know, I don't want to get ahead of myself here. The Seahawks could easily still pick in the top ten. They could win seven games and pick in the top ten, honestly. So maybe. Yes, Luis, I posted a video this morning about that. Oregon in the red zone. Yeah, let's see what's going on. Phil Jerkovic is playing okay, but man, he's not having much of a season, is he? Not very interesting as a prospect at this point, I guess. That's all you can really say. No problem, Jonathan. This is going to be a really chill stream. Apparently, the Panthers say they want minimum two first-rounders. For Brian Burns. I don't think he's getting moved for that price. Yankees Astro starts at two. That's a big game. <coughs> Thank you, Michael. Do you think we can trade back and get an extra first? Yeah, especially if it's a next year's first. And it's worth noting that next year's quarterback class looks really good too. Next year, you're going to have Quinn Ewers. You're going to have Caleb Williams. You're, you might have DJ and Anthony Richardson. Like, next year's QB class could be pretty juicy too. I'm w working on it. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm working on it right now, Austin. That actually reminds me. DJ Stroud, I think, is going to go number one. So it's going to be hard to get him. I don't know if I see it. Bash Gordon, thank you for the $5 super chat to get the super chat started out for the day. Congratulations, B. My opinion, Will Anderson with our first pick, best linebacker available with the second, quarterback with the third. Aloha, go Hawks. Well, if you want Will Anderson, you're probably going to have to pick in the top three. That's going to be hard. That's going to be hard to pull off. You're going to need that top three pick, I think, for sure. He might go number one. As for um, linebacker with the second, I'm, I'm pretty open to that, especially if it's Trenton Simpson or Henry Tooto. Oh, Tooto. Oh. Thank you, Boney. Could we get CJ with Denver's pick? 
Right now, I think CJ goes number one, so probably not. You should stream K Kentucky versus Tennessee. That That is pretty good. I may have to do something for that. Joshua Miller, thank you for the four ninety nine. Realistically, what do you think our two first will be and who do you think we will target with our two first and two second round picks? Obviously, early prediction. Uh, I'm going to go with Will Levis, Trenton Simpson, Uh, in the first, and then it's in the second, Davion Cohen, and some defensive lineman that I'm not aware of yet. What could we get for Sidney Jones? I think like a sixth round pick, and that's totally fine, by the way. I got no problem with that. I think Hendon Hooker's playing too good. He's going to be like a top 10 pick if this keeps up. That's a problem. Oh, yeah, people are talking about the Ika guy. No, Michael, <clears throat> I'm not getting sick. Thank you, Ethan. What's up? Could you see us trading for Justin Fields during the offseason? Probably not. It's not impossible. Roy, thank you for the member message for nine months. What effect is Geno's play having on Drew, if any? Hopefully he's learning something, but that's going to be hard to know. Hopefully Drew Locke learns something from it, but it's really hard to know, is the thing. Yeah. Cool, Ethan. Have fun. You change your opinion on Pete yet? I mean, overall, probably not.
It took me a long time to get to where I am with Pete. It's going to take a long time for me to get moved off it. I mean, that's the way things should be, right? You shouldn't change your mind after every two things, that, every two seconds, after every two things that, that happens. You should have some belief in what you say. Huskies play California. Okay, uh, let me try something out here. Hmm. Yeah, remember, Drew Locke's a free agent. No guarantee that you have him. I promise to C-Note if you stream good job. Just one question, Windows or Linux? I'm on Windows. I've never really used Linux before. Never had the opportunity to try it, really. But yeah, I'm on Windows. Praying we trade back and draft Miles Murphy and Trenton Simpson. I'm, I'm cool with that, too, yeah. Wow, this is a rainstorm in Oregon right now. Or it looks like it. Field goal's good, though. Ha! Ah. All right, guys, new emojis. They work. They function. <clears throat> well, Tony, they're really good at home and not good on the road. That's uh, all there is to say about it. Excuse me. Jeez. All right, guys, so we got a couple new members emojis. You can see them on in the chat right now. If you want to be able to use them, $2 a month, you're a member. Hey, Daniel. Hey, Ravens. Um, Austin... Who would I replace Carson with? What position did you play in football? I didn't play football. Are you crazy? I studied the game. I'm like John Madden. John Madden never actually played NFL football. Because he got injured before he could. Rashford, welcome to the channel. Thank you for the sub. Welcome aboard. Bash Gordon, how are we on Will Levis these days? First of all, thank you for the $2. Second of all, I still love him. I still think he's great. I'm not getting super caught up in the numbers or the precise performance because he does not have a stacked team. He actually lost all of his best players in the draft. Three starting offensive linemen from Kentucky and I think a top receiver all went in the first three rounds, I think. Oh boy, look at it go. We got the big one. R. Sanchez, thank you for the $100 super chat. Wow, that is a fat one, and the stream is getting off to a big start. The stream is getting off to a cash money start. Wow, thank you, R. Sanchez, for the support. And we got our first spam bot. If Will Anderson's there at our pick, I would take him. I'm pretty sure about that. Uh. Glass bone syndrome? Is that the thing from Unbreakable? Is that what you're talking about? Like the thing that Samuel L. Jackson had? What's Oregon got? 
<clears throat> what do we got here, boys? DJ Stroud ended up having a pretty good game. I know he started a little slow. Could we get a top five pick? I think we will get a top five pick personally. I think Denver wins four games this year, especially now. Like, what you're probably going to see tomorrow is Ripien go out there, play good for like a quarter and a half, and then go to pieces. Like, he'll start good because they have no tape on him, and he'll probably be like really, really motivated. He'll be hyped up, and then the bottom will drop out. Yeah, I'm not feeling good about Lockett. I agree with David. Who would you take with your first pick? I probably like Will Anderson more than anyone else, but... I'm open to a few different ideas with that pick. <clears throat> I like um, CJ Stroud a lot. I like Levis a lot. Will Anderson. Mostly those three guys I would consider at number one overall. If the Broncos lose, lose these next two games, I think that pick could be top three. I think they will lose the next two, but they're going to beat Carolina. And they probably got one more win. Like, maybe they beat the Raiders. <clears throat> so that's four wins. Is four wins going to be a top three pick? Or is it going to be a top five pick? Which I think is more likely. Because the Panthers are going to get number one. I think Houston gets two. Pittsburgh and Chicago get three. Something like that. Three and four. Uh, yeah, Ian, I would say so. I, I mean, I'm fine with not taking any of them at least. I would have been fine with taking some of them. Well, yeah, who cares about interceptions at a certain point if you're not scoring points? Like, the Broncos score fewer points than any other offense in the league, I think. Yeah, maybe I'll do beast mode. I feel very confident the Panthers and Texans pick one and two. And I think they probably both go quarterback. But then I don't know. Is it going to be the Steelers or the Bears? Broncos? Commanders? It's probably going to be one of those teams, right? <clears throat> the Raiders and Lions are going to win a few games, I think. They're good enough. Yeah, we have a Tariq Woolen, and we have a Geno Smith now. You should, you guys should be able to use them. If you guys can't use them, something's wrong. Because I was able to use them. Um, I don't think we're in the Mims or more sweepstakes. For one, the Jets aren't going to trade either of them. <coughs> so I don't think there are uh, sweepstakes. No, Lazy, I don't play Madden. I used to. Not anymore. Thank you, Julian. Hey, Snail. No, I don't think the Huskies are beating anybody on the road, really. I don't even feel good they're going to win today. And California is not a very good team. Ooh, deep, deep, deep. Yeah, that's a flag. UCLA dude tackled him. What are you going to do, bro? Yeah, I think if the Broncos have any brains in their head, they hold Russ out for the Jacksonville game, especially because of Jacksonville's, you know, pass rush. I think they would, you know, destroy him. Lazy Lewis, I used to be good at Madden, but 
Madden sucks now. I don't like it. I played the Madden that had Lamar Jackson on it, and it sucked. Yeah, we got to go with Gino right now. I mean, Gino might not be here next year for all we know. We got to celebrate Gino while we have him. You ever dive deeper into analytics? All the time, R. Sanchez. I love that stuff. Holding on Oregon. Penalty fest. Alexis, can't you order them online? Ash Gordon, welcome to the Basic Membership Club. Welcome aboard. Bash Gordon, we have a new member. What's up? Yeah, the Wolverine blood thing was really, really dumb. I don't know what the hell he was thinking. People don't want to hear that right now. <clears throat> like, he's never been playing worse in his entire football career, I guess, so he just doesn't really know how to deal with it. Oh, Notre Dame's on Peacock. I actually didn't realize that. Hello. You watch UFC? I don't watch UFC, no. LSU's hanging with Ole Miss. I saw that, Nitro. I saw that. Ethan, I'm probably taking Anderson, but there's no way Stroud's on the board at three. Whoa. I did not mean to do that. I'm going to get copyrighted now. But you know what? Given that we know Russ is not playing tomorrow. Sensational. I got to hit that one a few times, right? Thank you, Renown. Oregon. Bo Nix. Almost a touchdown. Ethan, generally players are able to transfer over from playing man to playing zone. Not always, but often. Y2KHA, thank you for the 499. Next year, no coach will want to be on the Broncos. No picks, no space, can't bring in your guy. Stuck with Wilson, what offensive mind wants that? Well, first of all, they have some cap space and they can create more. Their cap space situation is not that bad. So let me just say that one thing about the uh, Broncos. I think their salary cap is actually in decent shape and they can restructure a bunch of guys too if they want to but yeah you're right they're not going to be able to attract offensive guys or coaches in general that are desirable they're going to need to pick from the guys who aren't good they're going to need to pick from the guys who otherwise would not have an offense a, a job in the nfl and that is a problem the Snail, thank you for the $12. Congratulations on 10 k I hope Denver wins this weekend without Russ for the chaos. I mean, isn't the best case scenario that Denver loses 38-35 to and Ripien throws five touchdowns, right? Like, if Mark Ripien, if Brett Ripien or whatever his name is throws five touchdowns and the Broncos still lose, <clears throat> that's... That's cash money, right? Mm. 
you know what? I knew that. Thank you, bleed blue and green. Thank you, Empower. Appreciate it. Best of both worlds right there. Yeah, Wu-Tang. The only trade worse than the Wilson trade in NFL history is the Herschel Walker trade. And I'm not convinced it's... A, and I, I think it's close. I think people are discounting the value of not having Wilson. Not having Wilson right now is good value. Like, think about it like this. If we had given Wilson away for nothing, we would be winning that trade by a lot right now, right? <coughs> as bad as the Herschel Walker trade was, at least Herschel Walker was a good player. At least he was a capable running back. And at least he wasn't taking up some massive percentage of the cap that crippled your team. Um, I kind of would rather make a Herschel Walker trade than a Wilson trade because they moved on from Herschel Walker after a few years and it was, it was no problem. Uh, Dacian, not literally, but close. Well, I think at the end of the day, Russ is going to get what he deserves. If he deserves to put it back together, then he will. If he deserves to flame out, then he will. He's going to get what he deserves. If he puts in the work and the time, he can become good again. If he doesn't, he won't. This is all about his desire. That's really all I can say about it. Um, JB, I'm not sure what we do there because I think Trey Brown is also better outside than inside. But he's probably better nickel than Kobe. Probably. So, I don't know. I, I think I like it, but I don't think we're going to do it. I don't think CMC has a big impact because his leg is going to fall off. A Nitro, that happened a while ago. It was just time for them to cycle sandwiches, apparently. <clears throat> Touchdown Oregon, and I think this one's turning into a little bit of a laugher now because it's halftime. Because he is immortal. Uh, yeah, Peter, he did not say let's ride after last week. What's the best possible record we can have this season? I think we can win like nine games, maybe, maybe ten. I think there are some games on this schedule that are just a little much to expect. Like, we're not beating the Chiefs. I think we all know that. It's starting to look like we're not beating the Jets if they keep this up. Yeah, I think somebody told Russ to knock it off after losses like that. Uh, 
I'm hoping we win today, man. Yeah, I'm going to say, I'm going to go with seven wins. I think we win seven games this year. I'm good with it. If it's a little more, a little less than that, it's all good. I'll be right back, guys. Give me a few minutes. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Or, um, I'm sure they did, Ian. All right, let's see here. Well, the thing is, R. Sanchez, it's not beating a dead horse yet because our pick has not been determined. Russ failing becomes dead horse material after we're done with that whole situation. Right now, we're not. Excuse me. Mm-hmm. He probably will, honestly. That sounds like something he would do. Uh, no, Dacian. I played Modern Warfare 2 a couple times, the original. But I, <clears throat> I haven't played the new one, and I don't really care to that much. Yeah, Will Anderson... Um, Jared Stanger made an interesting point the other day. He said that the top, that elite pass rushers are losing value. 
because of the roughing the passer rules. It's actually becoming less valuable to be an elite pass rusher compared to something like an elite cornerback. Yeah. Next game I'm going to be playing after the current games is God of War. And it's actually going to be kind of tricky for me to pull that off. I got some things going on around here, but I am going to be trying to play God of War at launch. John Calvo, welcome to the channel. Tuck Tuck, thank you for the $2 or $1.99. Any plans for upgrading more of your setup? At this point, the only thing that would make sense would be <clears throat> the super deluxe microphone. The one that comes down on the big arm. You know, like, like the Borg Queen in Star Trek First Contact. Like the, the, the super deluxe microphone that comes down like that. And it would be in front of my mouth the whole time because you have to get your mouth up close to it to get it to work. Which sucks, but the boost in quality might be worth it. <clears throat> <clears throat> what do you game on PC, I'm assuming? I game on PC and PS5 and Switch. I don't... Um, is YT my full-time job? No. The SM7B? Uh, is that what it's called? I actually don't know. I have not seen the new Halloween. I haven't seen any of them, <clears throat> except for the original in 78. I haven't seen any of the others. King Fisher, welcome to the Basic Membership Club. Welcome aboard, welcome aboard. <clears throat> uh, I have not seen the trailers yet, Daniel. I gotta say, we don't need Resident Evil 4 Remake. The original game is still totally fine. This is just gonna be a very similar game with better graphics. It's not that intriguing. No problem, Kingfisher. Thank you. <clears throat> how much money would it take for you to do the gritty? I don't even know how to do it, so I don't think money is going to be a um, deciding factor here.
Final Fantasy 16, <clears throat> maybe, but that franchise is not what it used to be. Do you care for college basketball? Not really. Magic the Gathering? No, I never played Magic the Gathering. Yeah, Herschel Walker was still a good player when they made that pick. Or trade. That's the difference. <clears throat> yes, Nolan. It's going to be a 10-hour stream. It might not literally be all in one stream. I may have to move at some point, but the goal is to stream for 10 straight out to 10 hours. They don't have the Danger Witch anymore. I've never watched The Walking Dead, <clears throat> except for the first 15 minutes of the first episode. By the time I thought about watching it, everyone hated it. <clears throat> Yankees suck. Yankees suck. Pretentious Cameron, thank you for the $5. Congrats on 10K. Been fun watching you grow. Keep up the great content. I always look forward to the 9 a.m. videos. Yeah, doing that early morning upload. Me uh, shifting my schedule a little bit so to do the early morning upload, I think, has really helped. <clears throat> That's obviously been the case for a while, but the 9 a.m. uploads are solid. <coughs> TJC, I've met Norb Cam a couple times, but I don't really know him. Hey, Jeffrey. How's it going? The Negan stuff always seemed dumb as hell. Like, why is the main villain of your show a human? Why are the zombies a complete afterthought in your show? Mr. Unlimited, yes, but that's kind of irrelevant to the trade, right? That's independent of the trade. The Cowboys could have made that amazing trade and then botched all the picks and not want anything, but it's still... An all-time terrible trade. That's what I'm saying about this Russ trade too. Unless Russ turns it around, they literally traded all those picks for a player that you would be better off not having. Genuinely net 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 negative. Genuinely, honestly, and sincerely, it's not even a meme anymore to say that. I'm not making a danger witch. It doesn't even sound good. Thank you, Dave. Oh, is there another game going on, by the way? Is there anything else going on on a channel that I get? 
A green 80. If the Broncos win the Super Bowl in the next six year, will it be worth it? Yeah, I think so. Garrett Cole settled down? Okay. Okay. The thing is, we don't need a big name linebacker even. We just need to find someone who's okay, but it's so hard sometimes. So damn hard to find people who are just okay sometimes, man. If the Eagles get Burns, that's sick, but... <coughs> I think the Panthers are just being delusional about what they think they can get for these players. So I think there's going to be a really hard time making a deal. Tariq's one of the fastest players ever, that's for sure. No doubt about it. I think Will Anderson Jr. is pretty incredible. Nothing negative to say about him. Yeah, they did. They did, Scooby. They definitely did. Can Shaq Thompson cover? Jamal Adams, has he been a lost cause? I don't believe so, but I think it's we're better off assuming that he's never going to be a big-time contributor again and moving forward based off that belief, which sucks, but... <laughs> mm, roughing the passer. Oh, is that going to be offsetting? Wow, big. Hey, Costa Rican. Thank you. I'm actually not tired yet. Shaq's been trashed the last couple years. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm afraid of. Like, <clears throat> available for a reason. Ooh, big run. Big run. <coughs> Somebody lost his shoe, but he still kept running. I don't think Mike Jackson has a ton of upside, but I think he's okay. I think he's solid. Yeah, Sam, I made a video a few days ago about Tariq winning Rookie of the Year. Um, talking about the guys he'd have to beat. It, it's certainly on the table. No, I'm not muted. No, my mic is still good, right? Yeah, young boy, that doesn't terribly surprise me with his physical abilities. Not surprised by that. The Snail, thank you for the $5 super chat. You think there is any chance a Seahawks led by there could meet up with a Russ led Broncos in the Super Bowl in the next couple years? It's going to be so hard to get Russ back to a Super Bowl. Honestly, probably not. By their defense, okay. <clears throat> like, honestly, I, I think that the odds of Russ riding the ship after this year are low. It doesn't seem like he's willing to put in the time. Or the time he's putting in is not doing anything. Thank you, Sam.
Or do you think the narrative will be if Russell's backup plays better than him? Well, the Broncos don't have a choice. They have to play Wilson because they committed to him for so long for so much money. It would be funny, but I don't think anything would come of it. I think it would just be like, well, that's interesting. Anyway, Russ, get back on the field. Something like that. I have not played Cyberpunk yet. I've heard it's good, but I don't know. They took so long to fix the game. I'm not super interested now. Well, Keenan Allen, first we got to see if he plays. I'm not feeling like he plays, honestly. I think Keenan Allen's sitting out one more game because then he gets the bye week. Yeah, Rush did all right, but again, they're married to Dak financially, so they got to put Dak back in pretty much no matter what. Thank you, Slimmy Jim. Appreciate it. Yeah, flow is nice, Green, but don't forget about Henry Toho Toho. <clears throat> that was good on PC day one. That's not what I heard. Who do you think is the most overrated team in the league? I mean, like, the Giants, do they count? Does anybody think the Giants are that good? touchdowns that Hooker have. I think he had three and then they benched him because they were winning by 800 points. God of War, that's the one I want to play. Which is the best one? Probably the most recent one or three. Either the most recent one or three. Yeah, Toho Toho is probably a first rounder. I don't know about Sewell anymore. But yeah, Simpson is... I can get behind most of that, yeah. Thank you, Addison. I'm going to try to be playing God of War as soon as it comes out. I'm going to get the physical copy the day it comes out when GameStop opens. And then I'm going to hit uh, Get Home and try to play it. But I may have some stuff going on that week that precludes me from playing it as much as I want to. My top seven corners this year. The two guys on the Eagles. Slay and Bradbury. <clears throat> uh, Woolen, Kair, Elam, Sauce. No, wait, not Sauce. DJ Reed. I said the wrong Jets corner. My bad. Then maybe I would throw Sauce in there. I really like Sauce. Probably someone else I'm not even thinking of right now. As long as it's not Jalen Ramsey. Jeebus. Actually, probably Patrick Sertan. Sertan's been killing it this year, hasn't he? Yeah, Snail, I'm going to play the Harry Potter game too. Unless it gets garbage reviews. I'm going to play the Harry Potter game too on stream.
Yeah, I think that uh, Everett's going to have a pretty big game. <clears throat> yeah, Ramsey's not that great anymore. Yeah, I mean, Ramsey's been getting toasted since the playoffs last year. I don't know what's up with him, but he's not that good. I would move Kobe back. He had one good game at Nickel. I'm not convinced that fixes everything. I did not play World of Warcraft back in the day. Aaron Donald's still good. His train outsider inside corner. <clears throat> Theoretically, he can do both. But I look at him and I see more of a outside corner right now. But I feel like he can do both, so I'm not opposed to it. Wait, how did how did Ohio, Oklahoma State get the ball back already? Yeah, I might see Black Adam. The reviews aren't very good, but that actually makes me want to see it more. Maybe Austin. Are we going to have a tie game at halftime here? Yeah, I might see it. I might not. I don't know. I haven't been seeing a lot of superhero movies lately. I still haven't seen the new Thor. Well, that trick play didn't work very well. For multiple reasons. I think they picked up like two yards on the most complex play ever. How do I feel about the Cardinals winning against the Saints? I mean, with the Saints, with all the injuries they have, they should lose to everyone. The only way they win games is if they have the refs in their pocket. Franchising the most trouble going forward. 
<clears throat> I guess it's the Rams, but I don't like to use them as an example because in their case it worked. <coughs> um, maybe the Browns. If D. Watt can't stay out of trouble, I would say the Browns. Uh, probably not Chewy. I think that's too much. I think the Browns have no picks for a while, right? And if their quarterback is going to behave like this, then I think that's killer. So we'll see what Watt gets, uh, Watson gets up to. Saints are in a lot of trouble, yeah. That's a good one. Yeah, Gurley retired. I read about that. Astros home run? Who? Who hit it? Yeah, Shogun's cool. But it, 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 it's hell for me to get it to work on this computer, though. I can't stream it. Like, I did actually play it a few years ago, but I couldn't stream it. Yeah, Russ is out. Thank you, Michael. Appreciate it. Yeah, Wilson's out for this game. And honestly, if he's missing this game, as far as I'm concerned, he should miss the Jacksonville game if they're smart. <clears throat> it's a London game. Um, Michael, I guess I'd rather make the playoffs right now. Chaz McCormick? Oh, really? I think the Broncos lose either way. Jets are pretty good. Like, can we acknowledge that? Jets are good. It's kind of impossible for them to not play better without Russ because Russ has been so useless. They're scoring less than 15 points a game. How is Ripien going to do worse? That would be hard. <clears throat> One second. Yeah, Roquan Smith would make the defense better, but I don't know if I'm willing to give up a bunch of trade assets for him. Cardinals are in trouble, too, because they've committed a bunch of money to people who suck, like Kingsbury and Kyler. But that's a different kind of trouble, I guess. I almost intercepted.
Kingsburg, you just got extended, so he might be stuck. Yeah, Trenton Simpson's nice. Let's take a look at his stats here real quick. I haven't looked at his stats. I've just watched him. <coughs> Dude, his picture on sportsreference.com is weird as hell. What is that? He actually hasn't made any plays in the backfield yet this year. That's weird. Last year he had 12 and a half total tackles for loss. This year zero. Weird. What's up with that? I think Russ misses this game and the next game. That's my prediction. Just let him sit out until the bye week's over. What's wrong with that? Do any of the football stats have APIs? I'm sure they do, but I don't use them. What are Will Anderson's stats this year? <clears throat> Five sacks in seven games. So not as good as last year, but still pretty, quite impressive. I think Trey Brown's going to be back in a couple weeks. That's the all I got. I think he has to come back sooner. He goes on IR. Field goal's no good. I know Will Anderson's getting a ton of pressures, though, even though he's not getting a ton of sacks, so even that's kind of whatever. Miles Murphy has eight and... Oh, excuse me. Okay. He's on pace to probably get to about 10 sacks this year, which is an improvement over the previous year. I'll never look at these players' stats because it's college football and the stats don't matter as much. Man, Jalen Carter's done jack this year. He's got five tackles. What the heck? Yeah, JP. Ooh. Wait, did Oregon start with the ball this half? Will Anderson is going to go top three. I don't know if he's going to go one. I think he's definitely going top three somewhere, though. Oregon first down. UCLA in trouble. Yeah, yeah, he might be able to block uh, block field goals. Uh, I'll do that later, Austin, yeah. <clears throat> uh, Jeffrey, probably Will Anderson, just because there are other quarterbacks I like. And Anderson seems head and shoulders. Above any other pass rusher. No, we don't want to do that to DK. That's a bad idea. 
Bo Nix is actually looking pretty good today, guys. Unironically, B Bo Nix. All right. Oregon keeps converting these fourth downs. UCLA's running out of time to make something happen here. Wow. Garrett Cole comes up short again. See, that's what I'm saying. Everybody's bitching about the Robbie Ray contract, but look at what Garrett Cole's making to be just as unreliable. This is the nature of the MLB right now. And that's why I don't understand why Luis Castillo signed that deal. Like, why the hell did Luis Castillo agree to that deal knowing that Garrett Cole's trash ass is making $325 million? Yeah, but he's certainly not dominant. Oh yeah, they were unearned because of the error. That's that's valid. He gave up a home run to Jared Kelnick. I mean, how good can he be? I think that's a valid point to make, personally. Yep, Oregon just keeps on grinding. UCLA can't stop them. Touchdown, Oregon. This one's pretty much over. UCLA can score fast, but they can't stop nothing, so what good is it?
yeah, maybe. I mean, Brady's numbers are still pretty good, but his team isn't scoring. <clears throat> it's the Wilson problem, right? Like, who cares about your numbers? If your team can't score, what good is it? Probably Dacian. Okay. Is there a better game to watch that's actually on right now? LSU Ole Miss is good. I think I'm flipping. If UCLA can score a couple touchdowns here, maybe. Maybe. <clears throat> yeah, hopefully. I mean, CJ played good, but at this point, it seems so likely Carolina gets Stroud. I don't even know if it's worth it getting all that excited for him. Man, the new Pizza Hut stuff doesn't even look good in the commercial. Who eats the bull and takes Bryce Young? Probably Houston. <clears throat> I'm going to say Houston. Yeah. I need to try a little Caesars, see if they've gotten any better. They've got some stuffed crust stuff. Could be all right. I'm open to it. Do any pizza places not have stuffed crust these days? Feels like everyone's just doing it now. It's the thing. Excuse me. All right, what do we got here? I don't like Little Caesars. It is the cheap pizza. Papa John's is pretty good, but I haven't had them in a while.
No, I'm not in Seattle. <clears throat> I know they're doing like a Call of Duty combo right now, so I guess they understand their brand fairly well. Thank you, Singh. Appreciate the comment. I don't like spicy stuff, so I don't think I would do well with like the one chip challenge or whatever it's called. Thank you, Jared Johnson. Appreciate it. Nice throw by Dart. I think that's Dart. Is Dart an NFL quarterback? I never got the sense that he was. But <clears throat> may as well talk about it for a second. Decent throw there. Better than Kid Named Finger, I guess. Yeah, I don't think I could do the one chip challenge. I think it would end badly. Aren't you supposed to, like, have, like, a bunch of ice cream on hand when you do it so you can start just eating ice cream or, or milk? Until it goes, until the pain stops. <clears throat> yeah, that's very possible, Snail. We'll see how Denver does. I think it all comes down to what Denver does. I don't know very much about the running backs in this draft, HB, except for Charbonnet. Thank you, CR. Appreciate it. Fourth and one, and I don't think he got it. <coughs> I think the ref says, yeah, the ref is giving it to him. I'm surprised. Yeah, he didn't get that. Yeah, Chris Rodriguez is nice. Where do you think Sydney's going? Kind of feels like we trade him to like the could the Chargers use him because of JC Jackson? Maybe. Niners could use a cornerback. There are options. First down, Ole Miss. Old Piss. Oh wow, they're seven and oh. Undefeated. Yeah, Blythe's not going to be expensive. Can't be that bad. No problem, Nolan. I appreciate it. I appreciate the support, man. I'm going to keep doing this for as long as they let me.
Okay. Cole still in. Can the Yankees score a damn run? Even we got to Verlander, guys. Come on. Our lineup sucks. <clears throat> and we destroyed Verlander, in fact. Um, I it's a lot of money for a backup. Let's fly. I'm looking to move him. Interception? Interception? What in the world? That looked weird. Thank you, Tehran. Appreciate it. Whoa, it was an interception. Just completely underthrew it. Oh, he got hit as he threw. Who's your trade target for the next week and a half? I don't really have one. I kind of just want to... <clears throat> I just kind of want to chill. Maybe we add a safety, but it's not going to be for a big investment or anything. It's just going to be... Hey, let's uh, get a little bit better here because Ryan Neal needs to play corner or something. Some people were saying Xavier Woods, maybe him. I don't. I'm not against a trade for Roquan, but I need to see what it's for. Like, it could be more extreme than we're thinking, honestly. He's a really good player. Um, no, probably not HB. I, I hope not. Seahawks scouts need to be doing their own work. They don't need to be going on YouTube and saying, hey, let's look at this guy's work. No. Those guys get paid a lot of money to do their own homework, not copy mine. So I hope not, and I seriously doubt it. Oh, Pepper X. Don't they change... Like the Schofield rankings constantly to where the Schofield thing doesn't even really mean that much.
Anderson, Stroud, Levis, in some order. Touchdown UCLA. All right, they're hanging around. LSU first down, big first down on third down. No, I have not. I don't eat that much from Subway. They have a couple things I eat. Not that often anymore, though. Thank you, Kyler Robison. Appreciate it. Is LSU in scoring range? Almost. This would be big. I've had Jersey Mike's like twice. They were okay. I need to try them again. It's been a long time. <clears throat> Deflected. Incomplete. My, uh, <clears throat> my nostrils have been congested as hell lately. I don't know what's going on. It's not allergy season, is it? Like, I don't get it. Oh, that's cool, Andy. Have fun with that. Bro, please promote my channel. I may be willing to do that. I do that for elite channel members. I don't do a ton, but I do a little something. Well, yeah, Leon, I mean, it doesn't really matter what he would post right now. The only thing he could do that would avoid him getting grilled is to just not say anything. It's the smoke. Maybe. Maybe. It's been bad. I'm kind of glad it's finally raining. Well, Eckler doesn't really run over people so much as he uh, catches a lot of short passes. He could definitely do that to us. That's his game all day. I honestly think we will. I think the Chiefs are going to win. I know that. <clears throat> mm. 
Oh, I'm rooting for that, Jeffrey. That'd be fun as hell. And it would get Detroit out of the bottom of the draft positioning. Oh, Andy, if he does that, then people are going to make fun of him off of Twitter for being soft. Like some Kevin Durant type stuff. Uh, CR, I I wonder if they're going to legalize holding on the offensive line at some point. They just say, you know what, you can hold. You do it every play anyway, let's just stop calling it. Uh, the linebackers I really like are Trenton Simpson and Henry Toho, Toho, Julian Garcia. <clears throat> there are going to be some late round guys, though, like Flo from Oregon, who I like. There, I, I got to do more research as the season winds down, but uh, those are my early guys. Lockett's going to play. But I don't know if he plays the whole game. It kind of feels like he won't to be perfectly honest. Commanders won't beat Green Bay. Well, Wentz is on IR, right? Like, he literally can't play. Oregon answers touchdown? Yep. Yeah, UCLA can't stop him. Is LSU going to score a touchdown here? Uh, yes. Ole Miss is in trouble. I like Heineke. I think Heineke's okay. I wouldn't have hated picking up Heineke if we decided we didn't want to go with Gino this year. And I wouldn't mind picking him up for next year, honestly. If Gino can't stick around. Oh, I used to love Carson Wentz. I used to love Carson Wentz, but the injuries have just sapped him of his effectiveness. Yeah, I've heard a little bit about that, Jeffrey. That surprises me. I think he's just probably a little depressed with the way things have gone for his career lately.
Yeah, that's true. If Mike Williams is up against Woolen, that's a great matchup for Woolen. Keenan Allen at full strength would be difficult for him to deal with, though. That's the thing. Yeah, Divine Diablo is a great name. How is that not a touchdown? That's got to be a touchdown by LSU. Joshua Ippok, welcome to the Elite Channel Membership Club, buddy. Welcome aboard, Joshua Ippok. Ugh, excuse me. I'm not terribly surprised about it, Andy. I'm surprised Woolen. I'm surprised about Woolen, but I'm not terribly surprised about the other rookies. I like them a lot. Um, we can extend lock. It's not going to cost that much money, so there's no reason not to, but I think you can do either thing there and it's fine. One second. Yeah, lock, keeping lock as a backup is probably a reasonable idea, yeah. I got no problem with that. Uh, some of them are, Leon. Some of them definitely are. Yeah, I don't know if Locke's going to be able to fix the turnover problem, though. That might just be part of who he is. It shouldn't be hard to keep lock. I don't think it'll be hard to do that. So there's nothing wrong with it.
Yeah, aren't the Yankees always like that? Oh, that should have gone the other way. What a terrible throw by Dart. Yeah, that's true, Scooby. But I'll tell you, just because it happened for one guy doesn't mean it's going to happen for other guys. Penalty on LSU, that's big. That could be a game flipper. This LSU guy is getting yelled at by the coach, and the coach is not letting him walk away. You gotta send him to the showers. You gotta send that man to the showers. I mean, Locke might come back, but I don't think he's a big part of the future. Still kind of like the idea of drafting two quarterbacks to get somebody in the fourth round who's kind of appealing like Van Dyke or Penix or, you know, someone like that. Third and three for Ole Miss. I like Drew Locke personally, though, so I'm not against the idea of having him around. And 13.
Aaron Judge is turning into like end of career A Rod in the playoffs. Good lord. <clears throat> I mean, if I'm Gino, I'm definitely getting paid. So if he takes, like, less money than I'm thinking, he's a better man than me. That's really all I can say about it. Like, I don't know why you would consider doing that. Like, you know, Russ has made hundreds of millions of dollars, and he still chases every dollar he can. He's doing dumbass subway commercials instead of grinding film like he needs to be. Because money is everything to him. Gino's made $13 million in his NFL career. Literally less money than Gino, than Russ makes in like a month worth of his current paychecks. On average. So, Gino, <clears throat> Gino's got to look at this as his one chance to make money. And if he passes that up, that's very, very unexpected to me. Yeah, I think we can run the ball in the Chargers. I agree, Dino. Okay, Oregon interception. All right. GG. No RM. Well, Bruce, I really don't think most players care about that. I think most players just want to get money. <clears throat> I think most players, when it comes to that kind of stuff, are thinking about their families. I don't give a damn what stat my stats are. I don't give a damn about winning a few extra games. I'm trying to take care of my family. Stanton double. All right. The Rams don't even have a first round pick. They don't even have one. How are they going to get Brian Burns? <clears throat> are they going to trade Aaron Donald for Brian Burns? Like, I know the Panthers aren't going to get two first rounders. But they're probably going to get at least one.
LSU has a chance to kind of put this game away. Aaron Donald almost retired anyway, so I guess so. Man, LSU cannot be stopped. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> the thing is, with everything they're saying about Keenan Allen, even if he plays, I don't see how he manages to maintain effectiveness. One second. I still smash on C. Sensational. Yeah, David, that is true. If you combine the value of all those picks, you are pretty close to a first rounder. Well, the thing is, the Rams are so aggressively all in. To them, it must be like, well, whatever. We're not going to be... We're not going to be less all in. If we suddenly decide to calm down now. Let's just keep pushing. Let's just keep going. Let's just keep making it happen. So let's be in on every trade possible because we're already screwed. Let's screw ourselves more if it can save this season. But they don't have the picks for it, do they? Man, old Miss's defense is not... Ooh! That should be... Yeah. Roughing the pass, or... I don't play Madden, Brody. Altuve finally got a hit? Okay. Right now I'm watching LSU Ole Miss, but this game's almost over. 
So I'm trying to find another game, I guess. <clears throat> Texas, Oklahoma State's okay, I guess. Yeah, LSU scores a touchdown. That game is over. J.C. Jackson can't intercept anybody right now. What are you guys talking about? Um, I definitely wouldn't take young Nathan Joe. I don't like young. I like Stroud a lot more. I like Levis more. Will Anderson. No, Madden sucks. I don't play Madden, Brody. I'm not going to do that. Madden sucks now. The science is settled. Yeah, Quandary needs to do something. I like that. I like that idea. Well, no Seahawks gaming. That's not how it works. And we got more porn bots. Super cool. Cool story, bro. Is that a catch? I think it is. Honestly, Daryl Taylor should go off against that garbage Chargers right tackle. Like, that dude was just standing there and letting people run around him the whole game. If he does that against Taylor, Taylor's going to have, like, three sacks. Yes. Yes. Yeah, Bruce Irvin's playing. I did hear about that, yeah. And let's see here. Oklahoma State down by 10, but they're well in range. Oh, really?
Would you trade LJ Collier in a... F <laughs> You're funny, Nathan. <clears throat> LJ Collier has literally zero value. Like, zero. Like, you could trade LJ Collier straight up for a seventh round pick, and I don't think you get a team to take it. Why would they? He's just some dude you're going to have to pay money to and not play. Yeah, Irvin's playing. <sighs> it is too bad. It seems like the shine is off the DJU Apple a little bit. But maybe that means you can get them at a later point in the draft. Thank you, Aiden Davis. Okay. <clears throat> Texas getting the ball back up by a touchdown. I did not hear that, but that does make sense, I guess. If they want his own corner, that's not a bad idea. How is it not Tariq, CR? You got him in the fifth round. Oh, bad snap to Ewers. Thank you, linebacker. Now, you should be able to run on the Chargers. They're giving up a super high yard per carry average. I don't think they win any games either way. Like, <clears throat> the thing with Rippin is he might turn the ball over more.
One second, guys. Yeah, Gerald Everett's going to be good. We all know that. Austin Eckler, too. That is a problem. Just double Mac. They don't have Bosa. <clears throat> this is not a hard decision. Don Mata, thank you for the 499. Congrats on 10K. Hope you get to 100K and beyond. Go Hawks. That's the goal. That's the goal, Don Mata. We'll see if it can actually happen. I'm not convinced a Seahawks YouTuber is going to get there, but we'll see. Panthers, Saints, Washington. I think the Texans are. Lions should. Uh, Washington should. There are probably like 10 teams that need a quarterback. Right, Seahawks gaming. That's what I'm saying. You got to be like EDP to get more than 100,000. Honestly, smart quarterbacks might stop throwing at Woolen. They might realize it's a bad idea. I'm expecting that to happen at some point. Well, yeah, Nathan, but the Panthers would never do that trade. Palmer's out, Jake. Palmer has a concussion. <clears throat> if I'm Herbert, I'm spamming the ball to Everett Neckler. I know that.
Yeah, Kenneth Murray is really bad so far, it looks like. Kind of surprised about that one. I'm feeling OBJ to the Packers, honestly. OBJ to the Packers makes the most sense to me. Thank you, Miletic. Appreciate it. Play a little fantasy CR. My team is terrible this year, though. Kyle Pitts isn't doing anything. And I had Keenan Allen and Herbert, so not having Keenan Allen hurts double. Oregon wins, yeah. Um, I, It's fine if we bring back Mitch, but we can't depend on him. He can't be like a locked-in starter. I've said it before, I'll say it again. I want us to sign Xander to play middle infield and Nemo to play corner outfield, and then we're good. I'll turn to the Alabama game soon. Nimmo is not a shortstop, is he? I thought he's an outfielder. All right, what kind of details? Marco's not going to be a starter. It's going to be Castillo, Gilbert, Ray, Kirby, and Flexen. Marco's not going to start unless we go six men. <clears throat> Yeah. 
Okay, um, let's see here. Yes, Xander Bogarts. Sign him and play him at either second base or shortstop and bat him lead off. There's no shift next year. Xander might hit like 330, 340. Like, I'm not even memeing. He's hitting 300 with the shift. Lexon's better than Marco. I'm pretty confident in that. Marco's really kind of lost it, I feel like. <clears throat> I think that rotation is, like, other than Houston, maybe the best in the league. Well, that was about the ugliest double reverse I've ever seen. Thank you, Harrison Hill. I appreciate it. Hancock might get called up at some point, too. I'm totally fine with our pitching staff if Sadler can come back. I'm fine with the bullpen, too. It's just about that lineup. Touchdown! Still got 10 minutes left. Okay. Alabama game about to start. I'm going to flick on over here. Yeah, brash. I mean, there's only so much you can do at a certain point, though. Like, we've invested heavily into our pitchers. We have <clears throat> three potential super stud aces. We've spent big money on Ray and Castillo. Flexen and Marco are making decent money. You can't get, like, ten superstar pitchers because you're scared of an injury. Like, at a certain point, you just have to let it fly. No, Nate Smokes, I'm not a Blue Jays fan. I, I can't talk really about that. <clears throat> I think they need a new coach, though. I don't know why they extended Schneider. Dude looks like a frat, frat boy. I don't understand. I thought he was just there as an interim guy while the season was being played out, but I thought for sure they would go get somebody in the offseason. Like, maybe I'm off here, but I think that dude kind of sucks. Um, Nathan, I would trade Sidney Jones. I'm not really looking to trade for anybody. Maybe a backup safety, but I'm not really that interested in trading for anybody right now. <clears throat> and yeah, Nathan Joe, don't spam. I'm not going to see everyone's comment. That just kind of is what it is. All right. Bama, what you got? Yeah, Marco getting traded would be okay. I mean, he's making good money the next two years. I'll be right back, guys. Give me a few minutes. I gotta go get more water and grab something.
Okay, we're back. Yeah, Gaussman's good. Kikuchi, yeah, but he doesn't matter that much. know much about Grugier Hill. I know I've looked at him a little bit. Not a ton. Hey, Marty. How you doing? Uh, Grug. It's Bryce Young. Well, not really Bryce Young, but I know he's on the list. I'm aware of that. Thank you, JS. I appreciate it. I didn't know you were around for that long. Um, JV on Cohen on that offensive line. Uh, Will Reichard, their kicker. Will Anderson, Toho Toho. And they've got like three guys on the defensive line that I can't remember the names of. Oh, yeah, so Mark uh, Brett Ripien, the game he won against the Jets, that was the Jets team that looked like they were going to go 0-16. And, and then they beat the Rams at the end of the year, like, super randomly. Yes, Rev Rai. Oh boy. Rip Garrett Cole. I'm open to a lot of different things we can do with these picks. Not all of them. Apparently Mark Ripian has like no... Uh, has uh, no arm strength. He's got a Nerf gun for an arm. Kermit the Great, thank you for the 9.99 super chat. Congrats on 1K. Love your content. Would you trade for a running back to help out Walker? I don't think we need to. I don't think we need to. Travis Homer's coming back. Brian Wynn, thank you for the sub. Welcome to the channel. <coughs> what impactful moves on the defense would you do to improve the defense? I'd get rid of the two-man fronts. Try to run a lot of nickel and dime so Barton stays off the field. And uh, mostly those two things, which they are already starting to do. Maybe try some more man defense to play into Tariq's skills, but they're already kind of doing that. Yeah, I don't think we need another running back. No problem, Herman. 
And if we need a running back, we can go get Alex Collins. I'd rather get Alex Collins for cheap than give uh, a pick pickup for a running back who isn't going to be significantly better. Do you think we'll bring back Penny? I'm starting to feel like we do on a minimum deal. I guess there's no real reason not to. Charge Tyler Lockett plans to play. LJ Collier has not been activated. Miles Murphy is pretty nice. Yeah, I like him. Uh, there's not much to explain about LJ's situation. He's injured. If he doesn't come off the injured list next week, then he has to go on IR. Uh, Nathan, it depends on who's there. I like Anderson, Stroud, and Levis with the top five pick. Maybe a guy like a Jalen Carter. But those would be my top three. In Not necessarily in that order. Remember, we're going to have to commit to Geno or get rid of Geno before... The draft, so we're going to have to have already made the Geno decision before we get to the draft. It's possible we give Geno a hundred million dollars, and this conversation is moot. Bum 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 Yep. Astros are moving on. It sucks, but it is what it is. I guess Verlander's a free agent. Does he just retire after having his best year ever, or what? Like, what what's going to happen there? If Brian Burns goes to the Eagles, I think that team will win the Super Bowl this year.
That seems like that can't be right, JS. God, how is it the first day ever? <clears throat> how? God, is that true? It feels like it can't be right. Oh, interesting. Uh, ANML Skezer, probably some low-level player most people don't know about. Some like like it's been suggested a safe backup safety like Xavier Woods. <coughs> I think that would be totally fine. Yeah, I think CMC will take well to the Shanahan scheme and all. I mean, he's going to be terrifying while he's in the game. But how long is he going to stay healthy? <clears throat> that's not a bad idea, Revry. I don't know if I would do it, but that's not a terrible idea. First down, Mississippi State. Yeah, J.J. Arcega Whiteside. Still on the practice squad. I guess he's not doing anything too wrong or else he'd be gone by now. Would you trade a second and a five for Roquan? Maybe. That's not bad. I'm not completely opposed to that. I mean, they might put their guys in motion a lot so Tariq is covering uh, other receivers and they're getting Keenan Allen against, like, uh, Kobe and uh, Michael.
Uh, Lindsley's supposedly playing. Lindsley is supposedly ready to go. But they still have <clears throat> not great guards. Caleb Tillman, thank you for the $5. Congrats on 10K. Just wanted to say how much we all appreciate the work you put in for your videos. You deserve way more subs. Thank you, Caleb. First tip of the day. Welcome aboard. Guys, who cares what Colin Coward says about anything? He's just trying to get clicks. Yeah, I don't really care who wins the ALCS. I don't care for either of them. It's whatever to me. Skezer, thank you for the $5. Crazy man, you almost have more subs than the Locked On Seahawks podcast with Corbin Smith. Or Colin Smith. Well done, man. Yeah. <clears throat> I didn't think we were going to get to this point. I did this channel for years <clears throat> with very few subs. I just did it for me more than anything for a long time. Yeah, I don't watch Norm Cam. It's, it's not really for me anyway. He makes content for kids. It's obvious. Jason, thank you for the nine dollars ninety nine cents. Ten for ten k, yeah. Ten hours for ten k. I mean, unfortunately, I'm setting a bad precedent. So when I hit like fifty thousand, I'm gonna have to do fifty hours, and that's not gonna go well. <clears throat> There's no way that's gonna be a good stream. I might do it, but it's not gonna be fun. Like 11.30 or something, Emmett? 
Judge with another strikeout. Wow. His free agency contract is going down by the second, people. If you uh I don't plan on making streams this long a habit, to be clear. Unless I'm gaming, maybe. But a YouTube stream, this is just to celebrate the accomplishment. Ah, man. <clears throat> yeah, I agree. Change your mind. You change your mind, though. Just let me know. Yeah. Yeah, Austin. The Berg Show, he... Kind of is. He's not putting up the monster stats, but all around, I'd say probably. Remember, the thing we got to remember is the cap keeps going up. The cap keeps going way up, so whatever. Right? Like, like there's always going to be more money. Leland Farrell for a fifth. <clears throat> I guess for a fifth. Yeah, Lockett's playing, but I'm not convinced he's going to be effective. Yeah! Alistair Rhodes, thank you for the sub. Welcome to the channel. Jeez. Why did my Chargers video attract so many Chargers fans who take things so personally for some reason? Yeah, Eskridge needs to get involved. Uh, because I'm not convinced Lockett finishes this game. I think he maybe goes out there, plays for a bit, and then comes out. Austin, it definitely is. It was the live stream from Emerald Queens, or excuse me, Emerald Downs, of Norbcam's watch along of the Seahawks 49ers game in 2018. You have to go way back in his videos to find it, but yeah. Uh, probably Nathan, yeah, but I don't know why the Titans would do that. No problem, Mountain View Church of the Brethren. And, like, you gotta jump around a little bit. Okay, uh, hold on one second here. I can link it if I really need to. Yeah, I don't know how that defense maintains its extremely high level of play 
losing all those guys. They're doing an incredible job, though. Uh, Travis Homer is definitely better than DJ Dallas. Travis Homer is actually a really good blocker. That alone. Touchdown Bama. Nice throw by Bryce. <coughs> yeah, I saw that Berg show. Everyone's seen that. Hmm. Market zero. Mark it zero. Yeah, I don't know who you trade for on the D-line, though, exactly. You know. Yeah, that's the other interesting thing. Denver could go 2-6 and six and then say, screw it, let's blow it up. And then what? Then what do you do? Oh, Lester, they did that back in August. It didn't have anything to do with his play. It just had to do with them wanting to get another sandwich. Apparently. I guess we don't watch commercials enough. I, I didn't see them <coughs> for the initial run. Well, Berg Show, obviously somebody told him to knock that off because he looks like such a loser when he does it. I, I think it's very obvious. Somebody went to him and was like, hey, dude, when you play the worst game of your life and you lose like that, like, don't do that. It's going to make people think you're a dork. Somebody must have told him, like, that that's bad. Wow, Oklahoma State's going to win. They completed the comeback. I think it's more cringy than it used to be, though. <laughs> Rev Rai.
Mm-hmm. When is the next Hawk's Nest live stream? Um, if you mean with me, it's going to be on Tuesday. Sydney's got a little bit of value. I don't know if Gabe does. Maybe Gabe has like a tiny bit, but I don't know why. Sidney Jones was actually playing really well last year. So, and he's still relatively young. The Yankees as a team in the ALCS are batting 120. Hmm. Three years ago today, the Seahawks made the Quandre Diggs trade. What did we trade to get Jones? Uh, if you mean Sidney Jones, it was a sixth round pick. Um, Lester, I don't really believe in playing yourself out of the Hall of Fame. Like, I don't believe playing yourself out of the Hall of Fame should be a thing. But if you do, then he's working on it. No Berg show that would cost more money to cut him than keep him for a couple years. And it, th it would take up so much cap, they would have zero chance of doing anything. So there's no value in it. You may as well just hope. <clears throat> Probably not, Nathan. I'm hoping for either Benatendi or Nimmo. Nimmo. corner outfielder <clears throat> maybe even a guy like jock peterson would be okay i just want somebody reliable and trustworthy out there and then the other outfield spot can go to a platoon of like haggerty and Moore and kelnick and winker or whatever <clears throat> but i need that other corner spot sewn up <clears throat> yeah i don't really believe in playing yourself out of the hall of fame 
But, you know, 20 years from now, people are going to look at him and be like, he never got an MVP vote. He never made the All-Pro first team. He won one Super Bowl where the defense completely carried him the whole postseason, or pretty much the whole season. Like, what are we voting for here? That's possible, but I, I think he gets in. Oh, roughly sometime post game. I don't know, Lester. I have no idea what happens in that circumstance. I want Xander more than I want uh, Correa. Favorite burger restaurant? Probably Red Robin. That's where I always get burgers. <clears throat> I think we move Sidney Jones, but I don't think anything else happens if I had to guess. I think we do move Sidney. He's not playing. This isn't good for anybody. He's not happy. We're not happy. Like, like who loses? No, um, I would be open to Diaz, but I don't think we sign him. We've proven our ability to build a pretty impressive bullpen without spending huge dollars on it. So, I just want Sadler back. If Sadler can get back to even half as good as he was in 2021, he's going to be one of our top bullpen guys. All right. <clears throat> Mississippi State, maybe they make it a game. Well, I'm sure we will put Munoz at closer. If we don't, then I don't know what to say about that. He's the obvious candidate to be the closer. Extremely.
Face mask. A three Jones and Collier? Yeah, I would, but Carolina wouldn't. There's the old boy, Will Anderson, the old homie. Nice tip. Mississippi State. Yeah, if we beat the Chargers, I think that wild card spot comes into play. I still think the Niners win the division, even if CMC breaks his whatever. <clears throat> oh, field goal's no good. <coughs> Hit the post. But nothing Bama still. Yeah, stop trying to get something for LJ Collier, guys. If Sidney Jones is only worth like a sixth and he's good, then how the hell is LJ Collier, who is bad, worth anything? Come on, guys. Think it through here. Okay, but again, David, there's only so much you can do. Remember, you also have Swanson, who you clearly trust in a general sense, even if for some reason you didn't trust him at the end of the season for no real reason. Like, you should be. And then you've also even got guys who you can trust through most of the season, like Castillo. And if you bring back Suwald, obviously he still had a pretty good year, so... I don't know, there's only so much reinforcing you can do eventually you do have to ride with it by the way we do seem to trust matt brash for whatever that's worth I'm assuming Xander and Nimmo are going to want big contracts, so you're not necessarily going to have a lot of money left over.
The first Seahawks jersey was a Hasselbeck. Hmm. Bryce Young with the sidearm screen. The Mariners' primary owner does not have a ton of money, but <clears throat> we do have some minority owners that do, including Nintendo. So don't give me that shit. Uh, I haven't seen him specifically, Green. What number is he? Alabama's only had like two possessions, I feel like. Nintendo used to be the majority owners, right? Padres up one nothing. <laughs> At this rate, by the time we get Shaq Griffin back, he'll be playing for the veteran minimum. So, not tear going super well in Jacksonville. No, Jacob, I don't think so. A lot of penalties on this Mississippi State defense now. <clears throat> hey, Mike. I'm telling you, man, Xander. Oh, it's Hoof. Welcome back to the membership club. Oh, that's probably a renewal because it's 5 o'clock and that's when all this stuff starts happening. Oh. Yeah, we're going to get a collection of renewals here. They're not new members. They're just, this is the time of day when YouTube does the renewals for people who are repeat members. So today it was just two. <laughs> Hello, Jamie. Yeah, I don't like jerseys very much. But anyway, Jeffrey, I'm telling you, Xander 
and Nimmo, and we're good to go. Both those guys have high averages. Both those guys get on base a lot, <clears throat> and they fill needs in this uh, defense. Okay. Wow. All right, we're going to get a good NLCS. Good for both teams. Uh, I think Wilson goes in the ring of honor. 10, 15 years from now, people aren't going to remember the way things ended. They're going to remember the good times. Oh. Oh, shit, that was a gamble. All the stuff that's going on right now with Russell, like, we're going to forget about it, mostly. Like, like remember when Sherman left? Remember when Sherman left? How much we hated him? He went to the Niners, too. I don't think people care that much now. I don't think any Seahawks fans are, like, super anti-Sherman. Wow, they're going to eject somebody. Mississippi State not off to a great start here. Uh, I think all of them do, Berg Show. Maybe not KJ Wright, but the others do. All right, guys. I'll be back in a few minutes here. Give me a little bit of time. I'll be back shortly.
Okay, back. And Alabama's about ready to lay the smack down, I guess. Poor Will Rogers. Yep, nothing good going on there. I think Bobby should be first ballot easily. Touchdown, Bama. So a few things to understand. I think Russ gets in first ballot, but he's working hard to play his way out of it. I still feel like he gets in. How many players in NFL history made nine Pro Bowls and didn't get into the Hall of Fame? I mean, in that offense, Ripien <clears throat> probably won't do much better, but he's probably going to do a little better just because Russ is playing so bad. Because we didn't want Wagner back. Yeah. Why else would we not? Why would we give all that money to a aging middle linebacker when you're going through some lean years?
But why would we not want Wagner back? He was still very... Because <clears throat> he wasn't that good, first of all. Let me just say that right now. Wagner was not that good anymore. And we were trying to save money to spend in other places. It's time to get young. It's trivially easy to reduce Bobby Wagner to an irrelevant player <clears throat> in the modern NFL. Like, trivial. All you have to do is just say, we're not going to run the ball. What's he going to do? 21 nothing Alabama, and it's not getting any better. Let me see. If Wagner wasn't that good, then why did the Rams sign him? Because they can actually support him with pass rushers and cover players and, and cornerbacks and safeties. Like, how are we going to support Wagner when he can't cover? We have another linebacker who can't cover in Jordan Brooks. The Rams actually have some things that can complement Wagner and make him impactful. On our team, all he did was stop the run and then watch as we gave up third and eight anyway. I just realized that now that we're in stream like this, it's actually kind of hard to do the giveaway. So what I'm, I'm probably going to just do it tomorrow as an extension of this during the post-game Chargers stream. So that way there's actually going to be people there. That's actually a way better idea. So tomorrow's Chargers postgame stream is going to be kind of an extension of the 10K celebration because that's where I'm going to do the giveaways so we actually get people joining it. I just kind of occurred to me that doing it here is not going to go well because there are barely any people here compared to what we'll get tomorrow, especially if we win. Yeah, the Phillies are on a roll. Ow, 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 ow.
All right. Padres going to the pen. Playoff baseball is a trip. Life is good for Philadelphia sports right now. I think we win, Kyler. I'm feeling good about it. <clears throat> Whoa, Gibbs got cracked, baby. I think Cam, just as his impact was on the field, it gets overrated by fans because he's such a good guy. But not by much or anything. Yankees spent a good chunk of this year just sucking. So they're not that good. Kind of wish fulfillment. It's wish fulfillment. It's wish fulfillment.
Yeah, Cam didn't play long enough. That's the thing. And of course, the microphone had to give out today. We'll find out, Dara. We'll see. I don't know how long the microphone wasn't working for, by the way, guys. Sorry if it was for a long time. It's still giving me problems. I don't know if I need to get a new one or what, but there's really only one other thing I can try. Felix definitely well. I don't know about Seeger. I think he will. Of him, you know that it's just a uh, Carson, it's exclamation point, not slash. Thank you, Neil. Mike was working, okay, it stopped working for a second there. Do you still follow the NBA? Yeah, a little bit. Not as much as I used to, but that'll change in a few years, probably. Thank you, Corey. I appreciate it. That was pretty good for you. This is certain. I'm hoping we can get Kyle out of retirement. <coughs> I'm hoping that he wants to DH for a year. Like he would rake with no shift. If you remove the shift from the game, I think Kyle would become a really good hitter again. Carson, thank you for the $5 tip. Congrats on 10K. Been loving seeing all the stuff you're putting out this season. I love the B&B &B show. What do you think the odds are that Tyreek Tariq wins Defensive Rookie of the Year or DPOTY? I think he will probably be in a two-man race for Defensive Rookie of the Year with Woolen. Uh, I'm sorry, Devin Lloyd. But there's no way he wins Rookie uh, Defensive Player of the Year over Micah Parsons. Micah Parsons might have 30 sacks this year. <clears throat> Rich.
go-to celebration drink. I like lemonade. <clears throat> but thank you for the uh, tip, Carson. Appreciate it. Micah Parsons might break the sack record this year. I don't see how he doesn't get Defensive Player of the Year if he does that. Which the whole nine yards. It's low hanging fruit. But it spoke to me. It's not subtle. The game, it spoke. Why would DePoto hate Seeger? That doesn't make any damn sense. <clears throat> uh, Arezia, I act Arezia, Israel, I actually had a gummy last night for the first time ever. Eh, I, I don't know. I didn't feel much. What do you have planned for the 10 hours? I don't really have tremendous amounts of plans. Um, I definitely felt a little bit, like, lazy. And out of it after I tried it. But, uh, I don't know. Not a huge effect. Jeez. I've tried a little bit of weed vaping, but I'm not experiencing much of an effect yet. To me, it's just kind of like, oh, okay, that's a thing that I did that doesn't affect me at all. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Oh, they just showed the Bryce Young injury from last week. Wow. I didn't know it was that bad. Jeez. Bo Nix is not an NFL quarterback. Bama's kicker, who I like, Reichard, made a 50-yarder. Very nice. Be right back, guys.
Okay, I'm back. I was really, I was kind of hoping the Seahawks game would be 105 and the Broncos game would be 125 so we could watch the end of the Broncos game after the Seahawks. But now Wilson's not playing, so it's not even that interesting. Thank you, Caesar Castillo. Another punt by Mississippi State. So this game kind of ended up sucking. That wish would have been great. On our team, we lose. Here's the end of it. So that should be used. Hmm. Yeah, all right. <sighs> I need to find another game to watch, man. Which one should I go with? Should I watch the Minnesota game? They're playing Penn State. That's not a bad game. And I want to watch Schmitz. Um, sure. Penn State's actually 16th. That's not bad. Mm. I'm, I'm just off the bat. I don't think the Chiefs are going to lose back-to-back -back games. It doesn't feel like a great matchup for them, but I think they find a way to win. <clears throat> Although both teams are coming off losses, aren't they? Now that I think about it. Forty ers defense didn't look great against the Falcons, but they had a lot of injuries. Thank you. Wentz won't play either of his former teams now. I just, they just showed that on ESPN. I didn't think about that. That's kind of funny.
Well, yeah, Seahawks gaming, but not a lot of the same players from that defense are on this one. But we should be able to get pressure on Herbert because their offensive line is so busted. No, Jeffrey, it was because he didn't have any good quarterbacks. Philly never gave him a decent quarterback to work with. When he got to Kansas City with Mahomes, the results have been drastically better because he finally has a real QB. that wasn't a penalty on Penn State's defense. <laughs> yep. That's the thing that must be really frustrating as a Yankees fan. You're going to keep the same loser mentality and the same loser coach because you made it this far. <clears throat> McNabb was trash. McNabb sucked. King of throwing the ball into the dirt. And Michael Vick's quarterback rating was about as good as Brooks Bollinger's before he got to Andy Reid. And then Andy Reid made him look like an MVP for a season. If McNabb went to, like, any other coach, his career would have been, his career basically would have been Alakai Smith, I think. He would have had Alakai Smith's career. Actually, maybe he would have been Jamarcus Russell. <coughs> because we know how fat he is. <coughs> Excuse me. Jeez.
Thank you, Power of Myth. Appreciate it. Alrighty then. Alrighty then. I turned it to the um uh, baseball game for a little bit here. Yankees batting one twenty eight for the series. Bad dog's gonna have a fun rant tonight. <coughs> I know that. I'm excited for that. Kirk Cousins or McNabb? Probably Cousins. Cousins was successful with um, Leatherface Dude as his coach. Uh, Zimmer. And Zimmer's a good coach, but he's not an offensive mastermind. Nick Foles is garbage, too. He's, like, super garbage. Does Cliff Averill make the Ring of Honor? I would guess no. I don't think so. Close, but no. Worst head coach of all time is probably Urban Meyer. Who do you think is the next Ring of Honor player? I imagine they get Marshawn in there at some point, right? Marshawn or Sherman, if I had to guess. <clears throat> and I'd say Marshawn. Urban Meyer is worse than Bobby Petrino, I think. It's close. Right, guy, thank you for the member message. For 25 months, Ducks looked pretty good. Yeah, I watched a good chunk of that game. You know, through his helmet. I'm, I'm okay with it, Immortal. I don't mind it. It's whatever. Any chance Hawk signed Marshawn? I can't imagine Marshawn has anything left. Like, he barely had anything left two years ago. Three years ago, actually. Come on. Weird. GM. She pushes this. Could be Cam Chancellor, yeah. Full count on Schwarber. Rack out.
Yeah, I don't know what Lynch would even do for us that we would need. Like, unless you're saying we need a power back, but if we need a power back, <coughs> then go sign Trent Richardson or something. I don't know. But you should be able to find one that's in more better shape than Marshawn Lynch. That can't be right, Scooby. I think you made that up, Mr. Snacks. It was okay, yeah. Garrett Blunt, yeah. I remember him. <clears throat> Who is Earl Watson? Was there a player in the NBA named Earl Watson? I don't know if I remember that. Actually, maybe I do. Didn't Earl try to kill his family? Yeah, Bo Nix is playing better. <clears throat> but I don't know if I view him as a pro prospect yet. I don't know. I'm not there. I'm not sure if I'm there. Really? Are we talk Bergshaw, are you trolling? Some of these things you're saying, are you like intentionally just trying to waste my time? I can't tell if you're like just messing around or what.
Berg Show, you do know he's been out of the league for years and his knees are gone. Last time he was here was like five years ago and he was bad. So like, why would he... You may as well ask, let's go get Sean Alexander. I would give you the exact same response. It's about the same thing. Uh, Y2K, we got like five and a half hours to go. All right. Malcolm Brogdon is a Phillies pitcher, apparently. Who knew? The Berg Show, I just explained this to you. Rawls could be 129 for all that it matters. With his knees, he may as well be 129 years old. It's the exact same thing. He hasn't been anything in over five years in the NFL. Um, I'm sure there is Y2K, but it's probably somebody I'm not even aware of that much. Somebody unknown. <clears throat> Or a relative unknown in this league. Yeah, Chargers are dropping like flies in the odds. I think people are starting to think Keenan Allen won't play. Yeah, just get Alex Collins and call it a day. What a... Yeah, the thing is, 
Myers is going to be expensive to bring back. That's kind of why I was saying, even if he has a good year, it's not that great of a reward. Because you're not necessarily going to bring him back anyway. Ash, I've looked at Rotten Tomatoes. I thought they gave Black Adam like 40. Where's the 90 from? Oh. Ooh, is that out of here? No. Yeah, I, I, I saw that bash. I've seen that one. Cade York's got the biggest leg, but uh, is he a great kicker? That remains to be seen. That simply... Cannot be answered right now, but I still like his talent. Yeah, Greg Olson. And then acted like it was someone else's fault. I don't think we see Wilson again till after the bye. Smart, I think they probably do that. Why not give him the London game off? I've never had anything like that happen to me, Berg Show. I think we gave him seven million. Oh, it's the audience score. Okay.
All right, no problem, Bash. Thank you. It was pretty good, yeah. It was definitely pretty good. Oh, yeah, Edger and James. That was fun. Greg Turner. I don't know a lot about him, Grug. I don't know if Colby's better than Luke Wilson. It's too early. Rini couldn't play the run at all, I think. I think that's why we cut him. William Leonard, thank you for the $2 super chat. Congrats on the 10K. Keep up the great work. I will try to, William. I don't plan on going anywhere right now. some time. Jeremy Stevens. Thank you, Alex. Appreciate it.
Oh yeah, John Carlson. I like Carlson. Carlson was a good player. Yeah, I remember that. I know what you're talking about, Austin. Yeah, Y2K, the Discord's very active. Extremely. Myers has a much bigger leg than Hauschka. Not even close. <clears throat> Hauschka did not have a big leg. He was just accurate. Myers can kick 60 yarders. Yeah, this defense is so bad they can lose to anyone. Okay.
All right, guys, I'll be right back.
Okay, I am back. Sorry that took so long. Had to eat dinner. wrong with you people how does every single idle seahawks conversation turn into super bowl 49 I'm going for that. Four four in the Phillies game, by the way. We got a good game going. Thank you, Diana. Yeah, David. Did not answer the bell. Lakers ain't making the playoffs. Inc. 47, welcome to the channel. Thank you for the sub. Welcome aboard. What other games are you looking forward to? What do you mean, Austin? Huskies game starts in less than an hour. I'm looking forward to that, I guess. Russ isn't good at QB sneaks. Sometimes he does them. It's not really his strength, though, as a player. Hey, Carson, what's up, man?
Oh, Soto got a hold of that one. There we go. If the Padres win, it's a 2-2 series, right? Sign me up for that. Thank you, Diane. I appreciate it. Yeah, Astros are more hateable for sure. Especially for us right now. Thank you, Eric. Appreciate it. Hey, uh, Eric, I'm doing okay so far. No issues yet. Not really, anyway. I play golf. I don't really watch golf. I like to play golf, though. I haven't been out there in a couple years, but I like golf. Watching it, eh. Uh,
Okay, so we now officially have the first ever 20,000 views viewed video in the channel history. The Wilson video I made a few days ago has now gotten to 20,000 views. First time any video on this channel has done that. We've had some live streams do it. Actually, one live stream do it. But never a video. Yeah, I need to make more Wilson content. It's what people want. Gonna have to find a way to do it tastefully, though. I don't want to be one of those... I don't want to clickbait people into garbage. Uh, get your first gaming system when you retire. What's the system in our game with the lowest learning curve that you would recommend? I mean, how how low are we? How low are we at? Like, do you want to start with like Mario? Do you want to start just like jumping on Goomba's heads? I mean, I don't think you can go too wrong with just getting a PS5. I mean, most systems have all the same games now. Most systems, they all share the same games. There are exceptions, too. Like, are, are you trying to... If you're trying to play games that are maybe a little more cinematic, you know, something like God of War where you can play the game just for the story and the characters and the gameplay is actually kind of second fiddle. Or do you want to play things that are just more focused on a gameplay experience like the stuff on Nintendo? There's nothing wrong with that stuff. Like, you know, the Zelda games, people love those games. It's not just for little kids or anything. Kind of depends on what you're looking for. I'm very happy with my PS5 and my $8 billion computer, but the computer is hard to build for some people, and it's also very expensive, so you may not want to do that. Nah. <laughs> now, Skyrim's very good, but it is complicated. It is complex. And it's also been out for over a decade, so it's going to seem really old now. I love Star Original StarCraft is one of my favorite games ever. I played that game a lot when I was younger. I remember how toxic and shitty the online community was, too. It was great. Sometimes, Austin. Sometimes. If we lost that game, <clears throat> maybe Carol never loses the respect of so many players like he did with Sherman and Bennett. And maybe... Maybe things are better now. Who knows? Well, probably JS. Honestly, 
I think he should have done the Tim Tebow, just QB draw it, and then if it's plugged up, do the jump pass, Tebow style. That's what I wish he had done. Ooh, home run. Yeah, Hoskins, there we go. Uh, watching Gino change the calls and see the good outcomes has been fun. Can you do more analysis on Gino's plays? Yeah, there are other channels that do that better than I can. But um, I, I can definitely take a look at some of that stuff, especially if he keeps uh, playing well. Um, Berg show, that's possible, but Gino's been playing at this level for such a short period of time. Why not make him do it the whole year? That's my, that's my thing. No problem, Gerard Godfrey. Thank you. I think Gino can get four years if he wants to. The only way he doesn't is if I'm dramatically underestimating how much people are going to hold his past against him. Thank you, Will Jensen. Appreciate it. You know, I set the uh, Super Chat goal at 250 just kind of randomly. I didn't know what to set it at. I didn't think we were going to get there. But we actually might. That's pretty amazing. So uh, thanks, everybody. You guys are great. I just kind of threw a random number out there. I just figured I'd set it to something that, you know, would be high enough to where the meter could slowly move up throughout the day. So I've tried a little bit of weed vaping the last week or so. Not doing much for me, I gotta be honest. I'm not feeling it. Oh boy, both these teams are going to start emptying their bullpens in a big way. I'm laughing because you big mad, see it in your face, crab baby, big sad.
No rampancy, they gotta try, I guess. Maybe they can give up a player. Maybe they can give up a player to get Burns or something. I don't know. I don't know what they might be thinking, but you're right. They don't have the picks. So they have Manea out there to pitch to Bryce Harper. Good Lord. Thank you, Gerard Coder. <clears throat> you think we go after QB? Levis and... Uh, Levis is the only guy you can assume they would have any kind of bias towards. I think Brady misses a lot of stuff. <coughs> well, Nick, we were doing a lot more of letting our defensive linemen read and rea uh, excuse me, react and just go aggressively instead of trying to read. And that allowed them to play a little more aggressively, and I think that helped a lot. Chargers defense is not mid. Chargers defense is butt. There's another hit for Bryce Harper, and that's going to bring a run home. What is up with the Padres manager? Is it just me, or does he need to be fired immediately for this chicanery? Um, these days, I'd rather have the elite offense and mediocre defense. Those teams seem to win more right now. Why? Why did the Padres do that? Yeah, if Gino can get money, he needs to get money. Like, this is maybe his one chance ever.
I mean, this is an important game to win. It's not like you can blow this game with Manea. And it's not a big deal. It's a pretty big deal. Gerald Turner, thank you for the five dollars. And Eric Gilbertson, thank you for the five dollar tip. Congrats on ten thousand and your gaming advice. Yeah, Eric, it's it's such a tough question to ask. Like, also, like, do you like shooters? Do you like RPGs? Like, like, <clears throat> there's so much more going on there. Yeah, thank you, Gerald. I I see you don't have a comment there, but I appreciate the support anyway. We are making our way back up. Thank you, Gerald. I appreciate it. Wow. Padres getting fisted. Yeah, McCaffrey's playing. That was said the other day. Nick Guerrero, thank you for the $2 super chat. You still think our defense is starting to turn around? Kind of has to be because it was so bad, right? Like, it can't get worse. And it almost has to get better just by existing. So, yeah. Do you still play that power washing game? Um, we beat it twice, so probably not anymore. I think we're done with it. They might add more maps one day, but we're pretty much done with it. We've kind of done everything we can with it, honestly. Like, you could always just play it safe and try Grand Theft Auto V. That game comes out on every system, and most people appreciate it. Like, that game has a good variety of things you can do that'll probably, at some point, you know, move you. Uh, Diana, it made, it, it, I can kind of understand why they want to take maximum advantage of every opportunity because it was so hard to hit the ball because nobody could see. So I kind of get it. It obviously didn't work out and it ended up hurting us pretty badly. But, um, I wasn't terribly upset about it. Less than half an hour until the Huskies game is on. I've never played DayZ. I don't know very much about it. I don't Did he get enough of that? No. <laughs> uh Berg Show, you talking about Roller Coaster Tycoon? I haven't played that game in years. 
Yeah, I have God of War Ragnarok pre-ordered. Okay, Bama's still crushing Mississippi State. Nothing to see there. Um, Is there anything good? Not really. Not until the Huskies game starts. You don't really like shooter or non-strategy games? And the idea of learning button commands doesn't appeal to me? I wonder if you'd like something like the, uh, what, uh, the Oculus Rift. <clears throat> maybe, maybe you'd have an appreciation for something like that. Ugh. I was thinking about doing Gotham Knights at launch, but apparently it sucks. Or at least it's not particularly good. So I'm going to pass on that. Yeah, it's like virtual reality. The goggles. Do you like any throwback gaming consoles? Not especially, but I play some of those games. <clears throat> I was going to play it on PC with snacks, but apparently it's not very good. Disappointing. Why is my bitrate so low? Guys, what's the frame rate look like for you guys right now? How's the uh, performance of the stream from your guys' perspective at the moment? Ooh, Cinderguard. Here we go. Cinderguard's in. I have never played NHL 1992. I've never played any hockey game. Hockey was never really my sport. No change? Okay, cool. I mean, no, I'm just using OBS, not Zoom. I'm using flat OBS.
I thought it was pretty easy, Berg Show. You just have to make your scenes, set your sources. <clears throat> Lee McKinley, thank you for the $10 super chat. Great channel, go dogs. <clears throat> Indeed, thank you, Lee. Uh, Husky game starts in like 20 minutes. We will be flipping over. For sure. Man, Thor can run fast. I didn't think it was Hardberg Show, but it's free. You can download it and try it, and if you don't like it, you don't have to use it. It's free. Uh, well, Taylor's going to stick probably because of the fact that he's still going to be under contract. Mafe, same thing. Nwosu, I feel like we might extend. I think we extend Nwosu. I don't know, though, but... <clears throat> Alton's going to have one more year on his deal, too. Right? Uh-oh. Padre's got a man on... Ooh, get back to first, man. Oh, boy. Wow, close. That was almost very, very dumb. Um, Unless we draft somebody like Murphy or Anderson, I think we're just going to kind of roll with what we have. I've done that before, Bergs. It's just been a while. It's kind of stressful. But I should do that again, yeah. Is that out of here? Is that out of here? No. Wow. <clears throat> I'll be right back, guys. Give me a few minutes.
Okay, we are back. Okay. Yeah, I think Nawosu, you get him for like 15 mil a year, and that'll be okay. Gotta find the zone against Gene Segura. Wow. <clears throat> so the Phillies have Gene Segura batting eighth. Now, Segura was one of the best hitters in the American League when he was here. I don't know if he still is. But if they have Gene Segura batting eighth, they're doing something right. Because Segura had a pretty good bat last I checked. Strike out, Sigura. Okay. TCU Kansas State's okay, but Kansas State lost their quarterback, so how good can it be? Uh, I would probably do that, Nathan, but I don't know if Carolina would. He's still a decent player, right? He's not a complete black hole. If they got all that stuff from McCaffrey, they should expect something for Thompson, right? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a. I would hope not, Berg Show. <clears throat> At that point, you can't almost. Oh. 
Ooh, did he get enough of that? Man, every ball looks like a home run right now to me. Thank you, Nathan. I appreciate that. No, we don't need a running back in the first round. I know that. <clears throat> it might be very rare to see any running backs go in the first round going forward. We don't use a fullback in our offense like ever, though, is the thing. So can he play like power, like like tailback? Can he actually like be a running back? Because <clears throat> we only use the fullback like twice a month. I haven't seen the home run yet. I've seen it now. <clears throat> Man, imagine if the Padres had um, T Tatis. <clears throat> you think that would help right now? What do you guys think? Do you think having Tatis is better than not having Tatis? We take Hooker in the top five. I'm not really going to be a big fan of that. And I have a lot of angry Chargers fans in my comments on the Chargers video. This is worse than Niners fans. Dude, I don't get this. I don't get this from any other fan base. What is up with the Chargers fans? Okay. Oh, they're just butthurt that I picked the Seahawks to win. Basically, that's really the only way I can put it. All right, we're on ESPN. This Bama game still has like four minutes left, but I think Alabama's just going to run the clock out. Yeah, I don't really get it. And it's like, they're Chargers fans. We're not rivals or anything. Yeah. 
Maybe. Maybe the snail. I could buy that. Yeah, I'm ready tomorrow, Big Patty. No, I'm not going to do that, Emmett. Why would I do that? It's more... Like, why would I do that? Come on. <clears throat> Why are these teams still trying? Run the clock out. It's 30 to nothing. Run the damn clock out. I want to watch my game. I'm not grumpy yet, but the Huskies game is about to start, so give it time. Stop going out of bounds. Yeah, there are a couple, Nathan. Jarrett Patterson and Schmitz on Minnesota. Uh, Flexen. Flexen's better than Marco right now. I feel pretty confident about that. Oh. Oh. So, yeah, Flexen. Yeah, I think we trade Marco. If anybody wants him, just trade him to not have him. Trade him to, like, somebody in the chat earlier was saying, like, the Pirates. Just whoever wants him can have him. <clears throat> Yeah, Schneider deserves your consideration for the moment. Again, it's just so hard to know what anybody does in this front office. We don't know if it's Pete or John. We can only guess. Well, you know, the Blue Jays did take one washed-up uh, soft-throwing pitcher from us. Why don't they take another? You already took Kikuchi.
Stop throwing flags, you jackasses. Just let the game end. Jeebus, the game is long over. I don't know why we would do that, Nathan. That seems excessive. Will Rogers second fastest to a thousand completions in FBS history behind only Luke Falk. <clears throat> Kikuchi had his moments. Okay, apparently we just did a kickoff. 65 yards for a touchback. I'm not able to watch yet. Okay, one minute left. Come on, hurry up. We don't care anymore. Penix. Okay, looks like Washington's picked up a first down. So, good start to our first drive. Uh, Green 80, probably DTR, Charbonnet, and the linebackers on Oregon, I would guess. Something like that. <clears throat> Marco's not horrible, but he's kind of bad. Flexen's not really a good guy to bring out of the pen either. Just use him as your fifth starter. Nathan, nobody would sub to those channels. They'd get, like, no views. There's no point. Oh, long completion for Penix. Hold on. Is this... No, it's not on another channel. I guess we're just stuck here until these two teams decide to knock it off. We got the ball at the 34-yard line. <clears throat> Talu Papa featuring heavily on this first drive. And now we got a flag. Because this game just needs to take forever at the end. Third and two for Washington in long field goal range. Or long-ish. First down. I'm working on it, Berg Show. Well, Killer Kai, it kind of has to, right? It can't get worse. It's been the worst in the league. It's probably going to get a little bit better. Just by virtue of the fact that they have nowhere to go but up. Incomplete in the end zone. Penix incomplete over on my left here.
Alabama is so sloppy here at the end. I'm a little off Sewell because he's too big. <clears throat> he's just he just looks and he plays kind of slow. I'm not into it anymore so much. Wow, no touchdown. So please let that be the end of the game. Uh, no, Berg Show, they can't. They've already paid Wilson. They are stuck to him for years. Like, there's no scenario where they just cut him after this year, so they got to keep playing him no matter what, basically. Third and six coming up for Washington, by the way. Hopefully, I get to see it on TV. Well, they tried to run for it with Penix and it didn't work. Fourth and eight, probably kicking a field goal. Why can't they bench Wilson? Because they paid him. Is there a scenario where they just decide to cut Wilson? No, they have to try to make it work with him. Even if Rippon is somehow good, are you going to have Wilson on your bench making $50 million a year for the next half decade? It's not an option. It can't happen. It's the same reason why Cooper Rush is getting benched, even though he won it most of the games without Dak. And Dak played like crap. Oh, Washington kicks a field goal. 3 nothing. The Berg Show, you do know there's this thing called the salary cap, right? This is not baseball. They're, the only way forward for them is to find a way to make it work with Wilson. Yeah, I watched some NBA, Nathan. Come on, switch to the damn Huskies game. ESPN News. Maybe the game's here? I don't know. I'm kind of a Mavericks fan, but not really. You know what, honestly, after this year, who cares what they do with Wilson, right? Like, it only really matters to us for this one year. After this next year, then, you know, whatever happens, happens. Oh, 
Okay, I just turned it to ESPN News, and they're showing me an info infomercial for some boomer thing. I'm starting to think the game isn't here either. I'm so confused right now. Because <coughs> according to this, the game is back. Okay, here we go. I think, yeah. I think we're on a pretty heavy delay, but I am now watching the game. But I guess next offseason is going to be a test of how much Wilson cares. If Wilson has a bad year next year, then he just doesn't really care that much about anything except his brand and money. But if he has a good offseason where he studies the things he needs to study, then he can be good again. He just has to actually put in the time for it. Okay. Callie's offense takes the field. What are we going to get this week? Bubble screen. Looks like he got about four yards. Big hole, big carry, like 12, 13 yards. Hackett has such a negative stigma now. No, there's no way the Yankees fire Boone. Not a chance in hell. Another homer? Wow. Phillies are smoking. That's all you can say. Ugh. Ugh. Second and nine. They're running the ball a lot, and that one is not really going to do anything. Ooh, all right, looks like the the Huskies defense is getting off the field. Apparently the Denver coaches are living at the practice facility right now trying to f fix this season. It seems like cruel to me. That seems mean. Thank you, Armando. Appreciate it. All right, Washington takes over at the 20. Screen pass, Talupapa, going to pick about five. Yeah, Sam, he is. Pitch play going left to Talu Papa. He picks through traffic and first down, I think. Very close, if not. Ooh. 
We are now approaching the six and a half hour mark on the stream, by the way. Pretty good. <clears throat> Apparently it's been that way for like the last four weeks. So whatever they're doing is not working. Let me just put that out there. Whatever they're doing is failing. Work smarter, not harder. First down, by the way. Washington, shotgun snap coming. Play action. Quick pass, out to the right, dropped. <clears throat> uh, that should have been an eight-yard completion. No, I don't think they fire Hackett until the end of the year. A lot of teams don't believe in that. They just believe never fire a coach midseason. It'll never help. You may as well write it out. Snap, play action, Penix, looks, looks, throws it short, another drop, Talupapa, easy catch, no one around him, he just dropped. Ugh. Third and ten. Pass protection was pretty good, wide open catch. Uh, not good. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Going five wide. And complete over the middle. First down. Nice 20-yarder. McMillan can catch the ball. Finishing. Started. Uh, another nine yard pickup brings up second and one. Um, I think we trade Sidney Jones. I'm going to stand by that. Sidney Jones. Yes, Russ is out. Russ has been ruled completely out. Second and one. Changing the play more. Love it. Love this multifaceted offense. Love this confusing ass offense. Handoff up the middle. First down plus a few more. <clears throat> Moves the chains. Snap. Looks like a play blown dead. Flag off. False start. Penix throws it, wide open catch along the sideline, just shy of the first down marker. <clears throat> Looks like another second and one coming up. Uh, probably not, JB, but we can do well. We can keep the season alive. Handoff up the middle. Looks like it's going to be just short. Third and half a yard coming up, I think. Third and half a yard coming up. Thank you, Charisma. I appreciate it. Ah. 
Bucks still feel like a bad matchup for you, us, honestly. Third and one, handoff up the middle, first down. Like a little four-yard pickup. Pretty nicely done there. I like that. I like what I see there. Run up the gut for another five. Second down. And Curse, Curse's final year here, he was terrible. No gain on the run to Davis, by the way. Um, Curse, his final year in Seattle was atrocious. Another false start. Third and ten. Yeah, I'm not feeling great about that London game, I gotta be honest. No, I don't play Fortnite. Not really tired. Penix drops back, checks it down, complete, but he's going to be three yards short. Do we go for it? Do we go for it on fourth and three in the red zone? <clears throat> Knowing that this is not really a running down because it's fourth and three, you trust your passing offense to convert here probably much more than you do your running game. I don't think Doug Baldwin was good quite long enough to be Ring of Honor. If I had to guess, I'd say no. But I wouldn't be against it. He was really good for a short period of time. No, we're kicking a field goal. All right. We're kicking a field goal. Peyton Henry lines up. And it's good. Okay. 6 nothing Washington. And I will be right back. I got to step away for a minute. minute. Be back shortly.
Okay, I'm back. What did I miss? We gotta stop. Oh, wow. Three and out. We have the ball. I thought they would have scored a touchdown by the time I got back. But we'd have the ball back. So I was right about us having the ball back. I don't think so, Eugenio. I don't think so. Not if a team really needs a veteran QB. Got it at the nine? Oh, okay. Sweet deal. Uh, Lockett's had a better career than Baldwin. Baldwin at his peak was better, I think. I would say that. I think that sums it up well. No, JS, I don't think so. Maybe Bryce Young, Eugenio. That's the only one that occurs to me. So it depends on what you value. Nah, it's going to be hard for Lockett to make the Hall of Fame. He never makes the Pro Bowl. I think he's made one Pro Bowl in his career, and it was as a kick returner. Ooh, screen pass to McMillan. I think he got like five yards. Green pass to Culp. He's going to leapfrog a man and get the first. Nice play by Lauren Culp. Yeah, Gino is not running this team the way that Russell did at all. It's it's that's the other thing to consider. Gino's doing things that Russ didn't do. <clears throat> now the opposite's also true. Okay, it looks like we're going to have a commercial break. I don't know why.
Uh, maybe JS. That's hard to know. We'll never know that, I guess. Hey, Green Earth, what's up? Thank you. Thank you, David Velez. Appreciate that. Now that's something, David. That, uh... Um... That offense. Mike Leach offense, man. UCLA Oregon was okay, but UCLA's defense had nothing. UCLA's defense just had nothing. Couldn't stop Oregon at all. Why are we in commercial? What is going on in this game? Did somebody get hurt? Oh, it's the end of the quarter. How did I miss that? Oh, Marshawn's there? Stretch play going right. Ooh, big hole. He's right near the marker. I think he's going to be a yard short is Nixon the second. Third and one. <clears throat> Hand off up the middle. He spins away from contact and gets the first. Let's go. Let's go. No, I don't think so. We don't need OBJ, really. And he's going to want to go to a team like the Packers that really, really needs him. Ooh, nice catch by McMillan. First down. 12-yard pickup. <coughs> Slant over the middle, looked like. Oh, penalty. Never mind. Looks like it's coming back. Unfortunate. Okay, first and 20. Hand off up the middle to Talupapa. He's got a hole. He makes a man miss. Spin move. I think he got about 10 yards. 
Good run. Back in field goal range and more manageable second down. Deserves to get. Penix rolls out, looking, looking, looking. Dropped. Another drop. Receivers not really doing their job today. Third and ten. And we got a stoppage, I think, on, yeah, Cal timeout. Phillies win. All right. <clears throat> All right. There they go. I mean, you could win a Super Bowl with Geno, but would you want to? It's not easy. There's a big, big difficulty curve there. He's, like, even on his best day, even at his best, he's not as good as the, you know, Mahomeses of the world and the Burroughs of the world. Maybe he can be as good as Stafford, but he's a completely different type of quarterback. It's just hard to win a Super Bowl with a quarterback like that. Uh, all right. Third and ten for Washington. They are in field goal range. Penix drops back, looks, fires. He's got a man caught. Nice catch. First down, McMillan. And that is beautiful. That is beautiful. Uh, Y2K, I, I wouldn't. If we're winning out, <clears throat> that means things are good. Maybe we don't need to make the trade. Maybe that means if we went out to the bye, then I'm going to believe that, hey, maybe maybe we're set up pretty well right now and we don't need to make that little trade. 
<clears throat> Excuse me. Oh. Okay, Nathan, I, I, I don't really care. But uh, Brian Schottenheimer just got fired from the Jags and will sign with the Cowboys. Yeah, okay. Doesn't really mean anything to me. Hand off up the middle. No gain. Second and goal from the eight coming up. What the temp looking like tomorrow? Doesn't look terrible. The Berg Show, if we lock him up now and then we go deep in the playoffs, he's just going to hold out. You're going to have to pay him anyway. Ooh, looks like a touchdown, but there is a flag down. McMillan, that might be OPI. I don't know. Where the way that was thrown, that looks like offensive pass interference. Yep, offensive pass interference. God dang it. Tomorrow, Nathan. Snap. Screen pass to McMillan. He can't make a man miss. I think he picked up half a yard. And I think we're looking at third and goal from like the 30 or something. It's not good. It sure is ain't good. Play action, drops back, panics, screen pass to the back, Cam Davis. He's just going to pick up like six yards and set up a field goal. So Washington can't find the end zone, but the defense seems to have found competency. So that's cool. It's probably better this way than it was the other way, especially with the recent road results. So uh, hopefully we knock this one through. It's going to be like a 35-yarder. No, excuse me, like a 40-yarder, I think. Very makeable. Yes. 34. Okay, I was right the first time. Nope, we missed it. Well, we're doing a lot of good stuff out there today, but we're only up by one play. One play and they, they this game flips. There's no benefit to signing him long-term now. Wait until the end of the season, see how he's doing, and then figure it out. He has a whole career of not playing very good football. If he reverts to that later this season, you'd sure like it to happen without you having a big financial commitment to him. Just putting that out there. It's possible. I know it doesn't seem like it's going to happen because we're watching the way in which it's happening, and it's very good. But that does not mean it doesn't happen. Cal takes over at the 20. <clears throat> They're going to run the ball. No gain. TCU is going to beat Kansas State. So Kansas State's little season kind of shot now. Not shocking. No other college games of any real note.
almost all the basketball is over. So yeah, this is about to be it. Drops back to pass. Pressured. Takes off screen. And the screen's actually going to get decent yardage. Close to a first down. I think they got like third and three coming up. Yeah, Marshawn's at the Cal game. I see it. Yeah. I think they're doing something special at halftime. False start or offsides. No idea which one. I don't have a problem with the Kraken. At least it's different. Creative. Uh, is that a catch? Wow. He caught it. First down. Hey, Ava, what's up? How you doing? And off up the middle, no gain. Maybe HB, maybe. That would make some sense, right? We certainly need something like that. Yeah, I agree. I agree, David. Should have taken better advantage of it by this point. Ooh, nice breakup on that pass. Nice, actually. Best play I've seen a cornerback make all season. That's going to be a short completion. Sets up fourth and seven. And the Huskies defense has gotten off the field again. <coughs> Nathan, you have the weirdest trade questions ever. Like, of course. Of course I would do that trade. It's LJ Collier. Oh, boy. Hello, Mix Podcast. Welcome. Time for this offense to find the end zone. No more field goals. Somebody Tonya Harding, the field goal kicker, so we have to go for it the rest of the game.
Uh, T-Man, we still got like three hours. Yeah, uh, Bruce Irvin's going to play, apparently. He's going to be active, is what they're saying. <clears throat> I'm excited for it. First and 10 for Washington. Quick throw over the middle. Look kind of dangerous, but it is caught for like a five-yard pickup. Okay, handoff up the middle, four yards, going to be third and one. DeAndre Swift is out tomorrow. Third and one. And off up the middle, first down. Offensive line's doing a much better job in these short yardage situations. First and ten. All right, here we go. First and 10 from the 30. Panix drops back, throws it short. Culp, I think, got like four or five yards. Well, I feel bad for all the overbetters. <coughs> Doesn't look like it's happening so far. And off up the middle, he carries a dude for like a yard. So going to be third and four. Important. Thank you, Daniel. Snap, drops back, has time, looks, looks, looks. Now out of time, evades the rush, gets it out. Oh, dropped. Talu Papa has three drops today, I think. Wow. 
What is going on with him? Wow. Really bad game for the receivers so far in general, but Talu Papa in particular cannot catch. That was a first down. I wonder what's going on over there. <clears throat> well, that was almost really, really done by the Cal returner, but... Uh... Okay, all this work and we could still be down at half if they drive down here. I'm prepared for it mentally. Feels like something that would happen. Oh. Nathan, I heard you the first ten times you said it. It's it's okay. I, I I don't really have anything to say to it, Nathan. I know, Penix is playing really well, man. I heard he was out. I saw on Twitter a little bit ago that he's out. I didn't think he was even questionable. And here we go. From the 15. Snap. High snap. Play action. Pressure. Gets it out. Wide open over the middle. 17 yards. No problem. Final Fantasy 7, HB. Handoff, tried to go off tackle, nothing there, loss of a yard. Second and 11 coming up. Play action. Wow, that's actually a nice catch. The coverage wasn't even bad there. Not really. 
<clears throat> That's a nice catch. So they can't run the ball on us. That's cool. But they can do everything else. <clears throat> okay. Hey, Wu-Tang. Oh, big sack. How did that ball not come out? Nice. All right. Sacked him. Thank you, DJ. Appreciate it. No, I did not see that young boy. Blitz coming. Screen pass and the cornerback's all over it. Nice. No gain. Well done. Pressure. Nice throw. They're going to say he caught it, but they're going to say he's a couple yards short of the first down. So, fourth and two. I would assume they go for it. But they haven't been able to run the ball at all today, so maybe they shouldn't. Oh, really, young boy? Oh, well. Okay, yeah, they're going for it. I guess we're calling it fourth and a short. No, it's fourth and two for full. And timeout Cal, so maybe they're not going for it. I don't know. I guess it's almost the end of the half, so it's not like the timeout is a big deal. So, Yeah, young boy, I have it pre-ordered. Yeah, Lockett's playing, but I don't know how much he's going to play or how well he's going to play. That's the problem. Keenan, we don't know about.
Yep. <clears throat> Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Fourth and two. Man in motion. Snap. Play action. Roll out. He's got his man. First down. God dang it. Yeah, I saw it, young boy. Okay, here we go. Quick rush. Ooh, big sack on the Cal QB. It's not Garbers anymore. I don't know who it is. All right, there we go. I mean, I know the game's in Denver, but the Jets should be favored. As of right now, we have to assume they're a good team. And off up the middle, picks up like four or five. It looks like they're just kind of turtling up. I, I don't know. That's a weird play call in this spot with a minute three left. Jack Plummer. Okay, there we go. Again. Wow, California's won six straight games at home. <clears throat> that makes it all the more impressive if we can find a way to win this one. That's not what I've seen, young boy. Snap. Wow. Drop. He might have had that first down, too. He might have picked up third and 14, but he dropped it. Probably wouldn't have, but he would have gotten close. So that's big. Now we get the ball back with an opportunity to do something. Yeah, he might have gotten that first down, but then he dropped it. He had a chance at least. It's not like it's raining out there. Why is everybody dropping everything? Whoa. Almost blocked that sucker. Uh, looks like it's going to get downed at about the 10. So we got 49 seconds and two timeouts to go. At least 60 yards. They can do it. They can do it. Got to catch the ball. Thank you, Mr. Carroll, to you. First down, up to the 20, and out of bounds. Over the middle, caught, first down, 15-yard pickup. We're on the way. We're certainly on our way. <clears throat> Snap. Short completion over to the right. McMillan is going to run out of bounds after like nine yards. 26 seconds.
short completion. Just a yard shy of midfield. 22 seconds, still two timeouts in the pocket. Yeah, there's nothing really else to watch right now. Yeah, I heard about that, DJ. I didn't see it. I heard about it. <clears throat> All right, here we go. 22 seconds. Snap. He's got time. Now he's running out of time. Check down. Incomplete. That was kind of behind the receiver. So that one, not really a drop I'm upset about. Wasn't going anywhere anyway. Deep shot, that's out of bounds. So now you may only have time for one more play. Maybe two. Penix won't go in the first round. I don't think so anyway. He certainly shouldn't. So maybe you have enough time to go like Seven yards, seven yards, long field goal. I don't really understand what Penix is doing there. Like, that has no opportunity to be completed. And it takes up extra time off the clock. I guess they're just setting up for the Hail Mary. Penix drops back, rolls out, looking for the Hail Mary. No time left. He chucks it. Almost caught, actually. Incomplete. That'll be the end of the half, so 6 nothing. And I'm going to take this opportunity to take a little bit of a break here. I'm going to step away for a little bit here. Well, I'll be back well before second half kickoff, and we will continue on. But we are going to step away for a few minutes here. See you all soon.
Okay. We are still not back. But we'll be ready when they are back. It actually ended up being a kind of interesting game after all. Okay. Thank you, Donnie. I appreciate it. All right. Wish there was something else on TV right now, but there really isn't. Ah. All right. Clippers and Kings. Hmm. Decent ish game. I'll probably go to sleep not too long after the stream is over, but I'm doing pretty much fine right now. I feel like we're going to lose this game, like, 7-6. to six. I, I feel like we're going to lose this game 7-6 to six somehow. Just, just funny feeling. It would be appropriate after the way I was thinking about this game, going into it. Yeah, DeAndre Swift apparently is out. That's my understanding. Mmm... But what is up with this Cal offense, man? If you can't score against the Huskies' defense, you have a big problem. Bum, bum, bum. <clears throat> Oh, they're doing a coaching carousel pun on the Dr. Pepper commercial. Good for them. Yeah, but I still thought they would be able to score on our garbage defense. The fact that they can't is still embarrassing, I think.
Oh, yeah? <laughs> That's weird they wouldn't find a way to flex that out. Okay, I think the game's almost back on. Halftime at college football takes forever. Because, of course, it does. Uh... Uh... Okay, here we go. Start of third quarter. Ten year celebration for a team that lo lost the Super Bowl. Who are they celebrating? I don't think Jim Harbaugh and Colin Kaepernick are gonna be coming in there feeling like, hey, we wanna pretend like we love each other. I seriously doubt that's on the table, so what's gonna happen here? Hand off up the middle, decent run, six, seven yards. Hand off up the middle, going to be short. Of the first down marker by like a yard. Third and one. Hand off up the middle. First down and a few yards more. Running play going to the left, going to be like three yards to Ott, Ott, Mr. Ott. Pressure, he's going to, is that caught? Wow, I am so confused by what just happened there, but I think that's a first down Cal. <clears throat> Good Lord. I don't know what the heck that was. That was insane. Oh, that's an overthrown screen pass incomplete. Hand off up the middle, decent hole. <coughs> Gonna pick up like six or seven. <coughs> so third down and manageable.
Wide open over the middle, first down, and Cal's in field goal range. Another open receiver inside the 20. And, uh, yeah, red zone. So this offense is about to regret not doing anything in the first half, I guess. That's all you can say. Okay, that was really obvious offensive pass interference. <clears throat> Went uncalled for no reason whatsoever. Running play, going left, going to pick up like four, maybe five. Four and a half. First down, first and goal. Hand off, going left, no gain. Okay, almost a sack. He's rolling out, looking. Wow, touchdown. Man, this secondary. I mean, we've seen great secondaries in Washington recently, so watching a secondary this bad, sometimes it, it blows you away. He threw across his body, too. The receiver was just so wide open, it didn't matter at all. Yeah, DJU disappointed, but uh, he'll have an opportunity. Uh, yeah, we still have Jimmy Lake's guys. We're going to have Jimmy Lake's guys for a couple more years, so it's not surprising that there are still issues, but <clears throat> it's weird how the defense has completely gone to hell in one off season like that. You wouldn't expect that.
Oh, Seahawks for sure, Berg Show. Generally speaking, maybe not right now. No, I do not, Berg Show. Not right now. Thank you, Pandalorian. Appreciate it. Decent kick return for Washington. Thank you, Pandalorian. I appreciate it. Snap, Penix, quick throw outside, going to pick up like eight yards. Second and two. <clears throat> yeah, tomorrow's game is in L.A., Revry. Hand off, a lot of room. Closes up quickly, but he does get three yards for the first down. Hey, Austin, what's up? Thank you, Poop Dog. <clears throat> Snap. First down. Completed over the middle. <clears throat> Going to be a little bit of run after the catch for like maybe a grand total of seven yards. Second and three coming up. Get in the end zone, boys. Yeah, I'm going to do that, Austin. Uh, hand off up the gut. First down. Plus a little bit more. Okay, let's go. I don't use Instagram Q Coffee, no. I have an Instagram, but I don't post anything on it. 
I don't know what I would do with it. You're stupid. Ooh, running play. Makes a man miss in the backfield and picks up a few. Pretty good run, really. Short completion to Westover. He's right near the marker. First and 10, yeah, first down. All right, here we go at the 34. Snap, handoff up the middle. He dances, finds a little bit of a hole. That's Jackson, and I think he got four or five yards. Going to bring up second and six, second and five. Yeah, Gabe Jackson. No, wait, his name isn't Gabe Jackson. It's, uh, what is it? Our receiver, the guy who looks like Deshaun Jackson. But it's G. Jackson. I can't remember what the G stands for. All right. Second and five. Snap. Quick throw out to the left. Caught. First down. Maybe another yard or two beyond that by Davis. Close to the red zone. Giles, thank you. Giles Jackson. There we go. Uh. <sighs> this game's going by quick, by the way. Screen pass. Going to be a decent little pickup here. First down, actually. Okay. First and goal from, no, first and 10 from the 12. So it is. Oh, looks like a misdirection play, handoff up the middle, though, ultimately, and picks up like five yards. So the offense is starting to find itself just a little bit. Nolan Vance, thank you for the $20 tip. How are you holding up? I'm doing mostly fine. The hard part's going to be after this game is over. If I still have like another hour, I don't know what I'm going to do. Which is possible with how fast this game is going because there's nothing else on. Touchdown, Washington. Cam Davis gets in the end zone. <clears throat> and we might go for two here to take a touchdown lead. But uh, thank you, Nolan. Appreciate it. You coffee. I've been streaming for about eight hours. Should the Seattle pick up David Johnson, Joe Schobert? I think both those guys are just toast. <coughs> Direct snap. Whoa. Trick play. Trick play. Trick play. Caught. Two point conversion is good. Direct snap to the running back. Hand off to the quarterback running to his left. And then he threw it into the back of the end zone. Corner, back corner of the end zone. Let's go. That was fun. That was sweet. That was tight.
I'm not sure, Coffee. That's a good one. I am not sure. Hey, Java VFX, what's up? How you doing tonight? That Cal Stadium is empty? I guess it makes sense why. They do suck. If his offense was mad, I don't know if he can be a Hall of Famer, honestly. Yeah, job. We're celebrating. Still got another 110 minutes to go. Most of which should be taken up by this game, but this game is going quick. I didn't expect the game to go this quick. Uh, Nolan, <clears throat> a couple of the teams are going to leave. I don't know if the Huskies will, though. Wow, so the Cal-Washington game, where they beat us in OT, partially because of Marshawn Lynch, <clears throat> we actually completed a Hail Mary in that game and still lost. You know how hard that is to hit a Hail Mary and lose? And the kickoff goes out of bounds, so Cal's going to get great starting field position. Hey, Junior. Run up the gut, six or seven. <clears throat> Run up the gut, going to pick up maybe two. I think he's going to be a little short, third and short coming up. Carson, there isn't really much to say. I mean, most of what I have has already been shown in one way or another. I really don't have a lot to show beyond what I already have. First down, Cal. Near midfield. Flag. Big flag here. Yep, that's going to be on Cal. That's big.
We have a Cal injury too, so third and 11. And we've got a man down. Cool J J A, but makes it Seahawks themed. Yeah, okay, he's getting taken off the field. Oh, okay, I see what you're saying. All right. Okay, third and 11 for Jack Plummer. Oh, come on. Offsides. <clears throat> so that's going to give him five yards back, probably. Unless it's false start. Uh, Nolan, then if we're going to do that, maybe something like... Maybe something like... Levis and Penix. Or Levis and... Van Dyke. Something like that. Would be pretty nice. Thank you, Austin. I appreciate it. Blitz coming on third and six. Picked up. Complete. First down. Ten yard completion. We tried to bring the blitz to get there. It almost did, but he got it out in time. That's a first down, and that feels like a pretty big play. That could have been a moment where this game got out of control for Cal, but they keep possession. And off up the middle out of gun, gonna pick up like three or four. Mm -hmm. Think so, Nolan. Snap. Play action, pulls it back, has time, throws it over the middle. Into double coverage, no good. Third and seven coming up. Another big third down opportunity. Oh, God. That corner just got destroyed. Perryman just got annihilated. Touchdown. Okay, uh, Perryman, you're, uh... That was, that was not good. Extra point away from being tied up now. <clears throat> wow. He just got sunned. Dude looks like Justin Jefferson, kind of.
Yikes. 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 All right. Tie game. 14 all. <sighs> yeah, it took a minute. You're right. Feels like the defense is real close to getting off the field on these plays, and then they just... They don't. Like, in the first half, they were. Doesn't feel like we're getting completely blown off the field here on defense, at least, but same results. All right, can Michael Penix answer? Most of the season, the answer's been yes. Okay, here we go. <coughs> mm. Keenan Allen is playing. Where'd you hear that? Kickoff's going to go out the back of the end zone. Touchback. Yeah, I know, Nolan. I know it's just the Seahawks background, but uh, I didn't. Um, I, this wasn't really a Husky stream. This was just like an all-day stream. I'm not seeing any. Okay. <clears throat> Adam Schefter just tweeted something indicating that he won't play. Ooh, nice toss from Penix to McMillan. 17-yard pickup. Yeah, <clears throat> Schefter just tweeted something out that kind of, to me, indicates he won't play. Wow, that's hilarious, David. I want to see that game. Penix handoff, finds a little bit of a hole, picks up like four, near midfield. Chargers receiver Keenan Allen, listed as Q due to a hamstring injury, wants to see how he feels Sunday before making a final decision. But the Chargers know their bye is next week, and resting Allen now would give his hamstring two more weeks to heal and be ready after bye. So, I don't know. I read that, and I think he's probably not playing.
play action. Penix has all day. <laughs> Tightly contested throw, but he hits it. Nice catch by Jackson. Inside the 40. And uh, Washington's on the move officially. That was quite a throw. I'm starting Keenan Allen. I don't have anybody else to play. My fantasy team is gar garbage. God awful this year. Good lord. Okay. Play action. Blitz. Picked up. And he just kind of throws it into the dirt. Picked up for a second, but not long. I don't think we sweep the Cardinals. I don't. I don't. Doesn't feel right. Um, what was I gonna do? Now there's some kind of discussion. Oh, they're thinking about intentional grounding. Wow, they're going to call it. I agree with that. Yeah, Chubb has screwed me over too. I, I'm sorry, not Chubb. Pitts. Penix throws it short to Westover. He's going to run after the catch and get up near the first down. So it's going to be third and like two. This is kind of important. It's going to be the end of the quarter, but it's kind of important we find a way to convert here. And I think we're going to let it roll down to the end of the quarter and come back at the start of the uh, th uh, fourth and try to get this third down. We are going to line up. We are going to line up and not snap it. Okay. So that's going to be the quarter break. I'll be back shortly, guys. Everyone hang out for a bit. I'll be back soon, and we will watch the last quarter.
Okay, looks like I missed a few plays here. So I don't know exactly what happened, but... Seems like good things. We are in the red zone. Third and ten, though. Five-yard run on third and three. Ballsy to run the ball on third and five. I'm surprised. Maybe I'm even more surprised it worked. Okay, third and ten. I feel like a field goal isn't going to cut it. Feels like the defense is going to keep giving up touchdowns. Thank you, David. Appreciate it. Um, drops back. Throws it. Touchdown, McMillan. Okay. Okay. Nice play. Extra point is good. 21-14. More commercials now. So that's cool. But uh, hey, we're in the lead. Let's go. The Utah team, I think they have a nickel corner who I like. I can't remember his name off the top of my head. I like their nickel corner. I know. And yet we're barely scoring. So he's doing his job, I think. I'm not familiar with Rising. I haven't looked at him very much yet, but yeah, some people are talking about him. A Willie Dang, we're watching the Huskies game. Kick off, then we return, no, touchback, I think, yeah, touchback, hey Liam, what's up?
The Falcons Bengals game might be kind of good. Ooh, nice play in the backfield. There we go. Lost a two on the running play. Oh, nice. That actually probably should have been caught, but good coverage by the Redemption Man. And we've got third and long now for Cal. And if we can get off the field here, I like our chances. Ooh, almost a penalty. Okay, here we go. Third and 12. Big, 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 big. Hmm. All right, snap. Pressure, he steps a... Nope, we got him. All right, QB pressure got there in time. Loss of five, and we're going to see a punt. Hunt, almost blocked, and we're going to have a fair catch at about the 32. Washington takes over. Good drive here can kind of put it away. Hey, Cookie. Uh, no, Max, I'm not. I might do the Giants game. But why would you want him is the question. Why would you want Frank Clark? He's not doing anything. I don't know why he would do things here. Hooker's awesome. I don't think it's a revenge game for Nwosu. I think he's going to play good like he does in most games.
They don't have a farm left. They already traded their farm. Yeah, I like Nomosu a lot. NX short completion, five yards. Little out route. Snap, drops back, fires deep, right side. Ooh, just a little overthrown. Good coverage. I think the Panthers are doing the right thing not trading him. <clears throat> Penix. Short completion, first down, and a bunch more to Culp. Nice catch and run there. <coughs> Significant play. That was a big third down. We needed to convert that. Cam Davis runs out of bounds after picking up about four. Four-yard run, going to be third and two. This is important. We might go for it if we don't get it, but I'd rather not go for it. Snap, drops back, looks, all day, pump fakes, looks, throws it right, wide open, first down and a hell of a lot more, and he's going to score a touchdown. Breaks a few tackles, gets in the end zone, touchdown Newton the second, and that gives Washington a two-touchdown lead. Richard Newton, there we go. I'm open to it, Dino. I'm not against any of it. Your point is good. Two touchdown lead with 10 minutes left. Very nice, people. Very nice. Penix is a junior.
Van Pran's nice, yeah. Kickoff. Going to be returned from about the 7. Brought down at about the 20. I pair mostly Will Anderson. Will Anderson's the clear one. Yeah. Play action. Pressure. Throws it deep over the middle. Wide open, but overthrown. He just missed him there. He had him. Snap, play action, bubble screen. <clears throat> He's got some room. He's got a first down, 11 yards. We don't know yet, Berg Show. It depends on how he finishes the season. Play action. Plenty of time. Oh my god, blown coverage, blown coverage. They're down inside the 40. That was a super blown coverage. All right, handoff up the middle, pretty good gain, eight yard pickup maybe, second down and short. <clears throat> second and three, excuse me, snap, handoff up the middle, another hole, first down, picks up like six. These plays I don't mind as much because the clock keeps moving, but they're still moving pretty easily. Okay. <clears throat> Twenty-two. First and ten from the twenty-two. Handoff going left. Little bit of a hole. Breaks a tackle. Bad tackling. Let's him pick up like six and a half. Handoff up the middle. Good stuff. No gain. Might have even lost half a yard. Defensive lineman is down. Tuputala. I think that's Tuputala. Oh, boy. 
It doesn't look good. Is Pace a pat? I thought Pace was an edge. I didn't know Pace was a middle linebacker. I haven't looked at him much yet. Interesting. I'm going to have to look into that. Is it like a Micah Parsons thing? <clears throat> Where he's a linebacker but moves to edge when it's a passing down? I don't particularly like left-handed quarterbacks. It is what it is. Yeah, I've done it. Thank you, DM. Appreciate it. Handoff going left, and he pushes past the marker, I think. First down inside the 12. Seven minutes left. Plenty of time. No problem, Marcus. Not a problem, Marcus. Thank you. Try to do the quick pass, no good. And that's going to be a stoppage for some reason. They completed the touchdown, but it's going back. False start.
quick completion over to the top, but just going to shut up third and medium. Here we go, third and seven. I'm sure they're going for it if they don't get it. Pressure, incomplete, but a flag. <clears throat> I have a feeling I'm not going to appreciate this flag. Well, they're not going to have to worry about fourth down, I guess. Uh, DM, I haven't really been doing that much. We've been watching sports and I've been talking about stuff. That's really all there is to it. Yeah, Dalton's not a left-hander. Oh, never mind. Fourth down. No penalty. Fourth and seven. Here we go. Cal, what do we got? No way. How did that get in there? How the heck did that ball get in there? Well, touchdown. I mean, that's a touchdown. I have no idea how Plummer fitted in there. The coverage looked pretty solid to me. Wow. That was a really good throw. I don't know how he did that. Okay, uh, six minutes left. Game is far from over. I'm doing good, Hawk's Nest. I'm doing good. Not too much left. Um, unfortunately, I think this Huskies game is going to end kind of early. I was kind of hoping this thing would run through 11.30 or so. That would be about the time I'm wrapping up. But I, I think that... Uh, <clears throat> I think it's actually going to be done fairly quickly here unless we get OT. Hmm. Yeah, Brunel was good. Uh, Nitro Hawk, it's going to be sometime around like 11.30, I think. Penix looks good today. Penix is doing his thing. Offense took a while to get going. 
But uh, I don't know. To me, he's kind of like a Kirk Cousins option where you get him in the fourth after you get your main guy in the first. <clears throat> yeah, Steve Young won a Super Bowl. But I like Penix a lot, so... As long as you keep your expectations where they should be on him, I think you're fine. Ugh. Okay, that's going to be a uh, touchback to the 25. We go up a touchdown, six minutes left. Short completion to Westover. That's going to be about eight yards. Bring up second and short. <clears throat> this is a great place to be. 28-21 Washington. Okay. They're taking their time, which they should. I wonder if Cal goes for it, a two-point conversion if they get a touchdown here <clears throat> to win the game. Short throw to McMillan, and he's going to run for the first. Receiver bubble screen. Five yards. Hey, Green Earth, what's up? Oh, yeah, I agree, Snail. That's why he needs to be your plan B. He can't be your plan A. Don't get me wrong, it's definitely a risk. Alright. First and ten, five minutes left. Snap. Penix. Oh, Culp dropped it. He was kind of thrown a little early, but that could have easily been picked off with the way it deflected. So, um, <clears throat> not good. Oh, no, Culp should have caught that, actually. that That's just a drop. Running play, going to pick up like three yards, and this is a big third and seven. Okay, here we go, third and seven. If we don't get this, I'm feeling overtime, I gotta be honest. He's looking, he's looking, he's looking, he's looking. He throws it deep over the middle. Incomplete. Yikes. Looking for a flag, there is none. <clears throat> well, Cal's gonna get a chance. Plenty of time. And two timeouts. And the punt is away. Not a very good one. Going to bounce up near the 28, 29. That's not ideal.
Play action. Drops back. Looks deep. Looks deep. Looks deep. Sacked. <clears throat> Two-yard loss. He was able to push up the pocket. But that is going to be a sack. Okay, handoff, nothing, <clears throat> and that's going to set up like third and ten. <coughs> hmm. Okay, here we go, third and eleven. Snap. Pressure. Sack. Big sack. And Cal probably has to punt. It's fourth and like 25. <clears throat> I don't think they can go for it. I think they just have to punt and hope they get the ball back, which is a disaster, but it's got to be more likely than getting fourth and 25. Thank you, Food is Life. I appreciate it. Yeah, they're punting. What a disaster. Snap, kick. It's going to be fair caught at around the 40, maybe the 39. And here we go, here we go, here we go. What about Doug Flutie? Okay. And off. Oh! Oh, he almost fumbled. <coughs> he almost just dropped it. He picked up a yard, but that doesn't really matter in comparison to the uh, ball. I think they just did. Yeah, they just used a timeout. I got all night. Play action. Deflected at the line and knocked down. Oh boy, disaster. Now it's third and nine and the clock stops. And Cal doesn't have to use a timeout. So even if you run it, even if you keep the clock moving on this play and don't get it, more than two minutes left. Wow, what a catastrophe. Only way to make up for it is pick up this third and nine, which, uh, well, we'll see. Snap. He's got time. Throws it deep. Ooh, wide open receiver caught. I think that's the first down. And that's pretty much the game. Uh, Cal could get, oh, flag. What do we got? What's the flag? Everyone's walking back like it's on Washington. Oh boy. What what the heck is going on here, guys? Come on. Come on.
Holding? That's not holding. What? What is that? What? What's the call? Okay, third and 19, so we're just going to run the ball here, I assume. <clears throat> Force Cal to use their last timeout, punt, and whatever happens, happens. It was holding? Okay. Maybe I didn't see it right. It looked like he just fell down. To me. I didn't see holding. Yeah, O'Dunsey's nice. Okay, just run the ball. Make them use their last time. Oh, actually, no. They've already used their last time out. Run the ball. <clears throat> yeah, just run the ball, keep the clock moving. Cal will get the ball back with like a minute 10 left. Pretty or uh, pretty good. Yeah, I think that's a weak call. I don't agree with that. He fell down. Bop, 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 bum. I don't know the Berg show. They just choose not to have it. There are enough stoppages at the end of these college games anyway, honestly. So I'm not upset about it. I missed that game, Green Earth. <clears throat> All right, here comes the punt. As long as we get the punt away, I guess we'll live with the results. <clears throat> kind of a crap punt, honestly. Up at the 34, fair caught. Flag down.
Yeah, wow, they're going to get the ball at the 40. They only need to move 60 yards to tie the game. They actually have plenty of time for this. What a what an incompetent sequence from this team, I have to admit. Like <clears throat> the crap punt, the penalty which was kind of BS. Jump pass over the middle, intercepted. We do have a flag down, but um he basically arm punted that. Um he doesn't look happy. So I'm assuming this is getting overturned. Refs have really taken over this game. Dude threw up an arm punt. Yeah, he kind of grabbed him, yeah. Okay, I see where the flag came from. Oh, boy. Oh, dear. From the 50. Pressure. He gets it away. Almost an incredible catch, but uh, <clears throat> he dropped it. So what are you going to do? Second and ten. Still over a minute left. They only need 50 yards. It's crazy how incompetent the Huskies have been trying to close this game out. Plummer got destroyed in the pocket. I'm surprised that wasn't a flag. Another flag? No, they're going to review the last play? For what? What are they looking at? Oh, targeting. Oh, no. Oh, no. I didn't realize they could do this. Ooh, yeah. <clears throat> that may be a penalty. Okay, no targeting. All right. So no change. Everything's still the same. <laughs> okay. Minute and two seconds left. Snap. Pressure, pressure. Uh, he does manage to get that one away, but well and complete out of bounds. 56 seconds left, third and ten. They will obviously go for it on fourth. Okay, here we go. Third and ten. Drop back. <clears throat> Wide open. Great catch. That was not a good throw. Tackled after a pickup of eight. <coughs> so we've got fourth and two <coughs> for Cal, and the clock is running, so they got to move. They're wasting a lot of time right now, if we're being honest. Why would you run a pattern short of the sticks on fourth and third and ten? He's looking. He's looking. He's scrambling out. Throws it. Nope. Receiver wasn't even really looking for it. And Washington takes over on downs, it looks like. That was a little bit of a messy play. <clears throat> that was, uh... Maybe that's why they took so much time to get that play right before the snap. Because, uh, even with all that time they took, it was still terrible.
All right, good news. <clears throat> we are a kneel down away. Fin that. Hey, Seahawks fan 900. I don't think so, Berg Show. guys uh watching the final seconds tick down over here on my right uh washington takes it 28 21 we got a road win we got a win that the def we got a not just a win but a game that the defense desperately needed to prove that they were competent and we are bowl eligible so few cool things happened um successful at the end of the day when you beat a California team that is, you know, I'm not going to pretend like they're good. They're probably not. But when you beat a Cal team that is not a complete bottom feeder <clears throat> on the road, given the struggles you've had on the road so far this year to stop anything, that's that's an accomplishment. So um, good to be back in the winner's circle. And hey, we now know for a fact we're getting a bowl game. We don't know what bowl game. May not be an amazing bowl game, but you know what? Good enough. Good enough for me. The season has... Maybe we're like a win away, but we're basically at the point where I was hoping we would be this season, where I thought we would be seven wins or so. So we're right there. We got a chance to surpass it a little bit, maybe even. Um, as for tonight's game, it was, it was actually a really weird game, right? Like, you, you had... You, you had a start, 6 nothing at halftime, where it feels like the offense can do no wrong. It feels like the offense has no problem moving the ball, but they really struggle on the ground, um, even with the a couple of sacks that Penix took. Overall, the ground game was not really consistently there. Cam Davis averaged 3.5 yards a carry. Um, <clears throat> the team as a whole had barely 100 rushing yards. Uh, California didn't do any better, by the way. In fact, they probably did worse. But uh, running the ball was a bit of a struggle, so third downs were tough. Third downs were a bear in this game, for sure. But Penix, he lit it up. <clears throat> he's he's back on track. After a couple of shaky moments, he's looking, he, he's looking like one of the better quarterbacks in the nation again. Uh, he broke the school record in the last game, and by the way, I know I never made a post-game video for that game. That was mostly because I didn't watch it live. So I just decided I wasn't really going to have anything to say about it. But he's killing it right now. And his stats are going to be among the prettiest in the entire uh, league by the time this season's over. Uh, I'm not saying he's the best quarterback, but he's going to have very gaudy stats. And at some point, somebody's going to give this guy a chance at the NFL, I believe, if the way if this is the way things are going to go. So, Penix, obviously the big star of the show. Uh, receivers, good. <clears throat> McMillan, I, I really like watching that McMillan guy play. He's a guy who, I don't know if he has a future in the NFL, but I feel like he probably does. And that's uh, that's exciting. So, I, I just don't know what's going on with this ground game. We were better in short yardage today, I will say that. When we needed to pick up two yards on fourth and one, or third and one, we did. When we needed to pick up three yards on third and two, we did. But there was not a lot of production coming from that ground game. And combine it with a little bit of bad luck, Penix was able to go off in this game, and we still only had six points at half. And through a lot of this game, through a lot of this game... Um, it, it looked like it was going to be some weird game where we find a way to somehow only score like, 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 like 13 points and we'd lose 14, 13 where the defense plays their behinds off and it doesn't matter because your offense can't produce, which was going to be incredibly weird and also incredibly frustrating. <coughs> but the second half got here and things kind of returned to normal. Um, the Huskies scored three touchdowns. Cal scored three touchdowns in the, uh, second half. It wasn't all a shootout, admittedly. It wasn't a complete shootout. 
Um, Washington was able to get a couple stops in the fourth quarter. Washington wasn't able to close out the game with their offense in the fourth quarter. So you still saw some good defense. And I will say, maybe those guys are turning the corner a little bit. They got a little bit better pressure today. Um, they did a great job stopping the run. Um, DeCarlos Brooks played okay, but overall, I, I, I think the run game was uh, something we handled very well. And I... I know Cal's offense is no good, but Arizona State's offense isn't particularly good, and they went up and down the field on us like it was nothing. And honestly, for Cal to get 21 points in this game, that um, credit to Jack Plummer. He made some incredible throws into very tight windows. I don't know how he made some of those throws, but it wasn't like we had receivers running wide open the whole game. It, it was passable. It was okay. We actually had some um, decent... We actually had some decent coverage in this game, which felt like a uh, departure from many recent games. So, happy for the defense. Um, obviously, next week we play Oregon, and I'm not expecting that to do well, uh, that to go well for us at all. Oregon's Oregon, and our defense is still going to be on the road against Oregon. So, low expectations there, but hey, for now, it's good. For now, life is good. The defense was good enough to complement the offense. They even carried the offense for a little bit of this game. And 28 points ended up being enough. And that's more sustainable. So, it felt good to see the team get the win on the road. But, um, obviously, this doesn't change anything in terms of where this team is overall. Like, this team still has... <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, this team still has some, uh, real issues. Like, uh, there were so many third downs in that second, uh, second half where the defense just makes one more play, gets off the field, and they find a way to just not quite do it over and over again. Very frustrating. And that, that's going to kill you against a better offense than what Cal has. And I, I don't really understand what happened to this offense, I don't really understand what happened to this offense today. It was so weird watching them really have to pull teeth to even get the ball into the red zone in the first half. Got a little bit better in the second half, but even then, they had multiple chances to just completely put the game away, and the defense kept getting put back out there. So, um, it, it's just one of those things where this ground game, I guess it's still not where we want it to be yet. But uh, yeah, um, obviously this uh, this video is coming right at the tail end of my stream that I did today. It's a, the 10-hour uh, stream, so we're going to be wrapping it up pretty soon here. It was obviously a lot of fun, successful, because the Huskies won, and it was overall a uh, you know fun day. Don't plan on doing a lot of 10-hour streams, but um, I think that it was successful. We got to watch a bunch of fun uh, college football today, a little bit of baseball, Maybe a little bit of NBA as well. So I um, want to thank everybody who showed up to the stream to make that possible. But uh, just just for the Huskies' purposes, um, we uh, it it feels a little bit weird. It's obviously not what it was a couple weeks ago when it felt like this team had a chance to maybe um, I don't want to say undefeated, but it felt like the team had a chance to be a champion of the conference it it doesn't feel the same now but we're playing a bowl game good enough all right i'll see you guys later bow down to washington got to win number six six and two and hey they're all going to be counting us out against oregon and they probably should be but got a chance to roll in there and make something good happen so i'll i want to see what they can do Okay, let me get that uploaded here real quick.
Oh boy. Yeah, and hey, we've locked up bowl eligibility no matter what now, which is very significant, no doubt. Important. Ugh. All right. I do think our defense will be better going forward. I don't know if it's going to be as good as it was against the Cardinals. The Cardinals did a lot of things to make it easier for us. Okay, so I've got about another half hour streaming and then we get to 10 hours. I'm going to go a little over because I know the stream timer starts before the stream kicks in on YouTube. So I don't know exactly how long I've been up, but I want to go a few minutes over, but it's going to be like another half hour. Uh, whoa, excuse me, disgusting. But I am going to step away for a second to take a leak. Be right back. Okay, we are back.
All right. So, yeah, we're going to go about another 25 minutes, I guess. Thank you, everybody, who's sticking it out all the way to the end. Yeah, so actually the spread was almost perfect. If one team wins by seven and the spread is seven and a half, that means you basically nailed it. <clears throat> okay, Keenan Allen officially considered a game time decision, according to Rappaport. There will be no confirmation until maybe an hour and a half before game time. Unfortunate. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 whatever. Hmm. Yeah, hey Jeffrey, how's it going? Okay, Zach, but he's still not as good as Slater. Slater's maybe one of the two or three best left tackles in the game. Hmm. Well, Mac, that's going to be Lucas. Thank you, Daniel. If Bosa was playing, I would kind of believe we'd have we we wouldn't we wouldn't be able to score just because of that, even though the defense is not good at any anyway. All right, hey Snacks, what's up? Yeah, Snacks, we only have like, uh, I think, 15 minutes left. 15, 16 minutes left. But I am still streaming. We are almost to the end. Phillies are hot, man. Phillies are on fire. So don't count them out. Uh, I want whoever comes out of the NL. <coughs> I think both those teams are pretty cool. Although Bryce Harper seems like a jackass, admittedly. Uh, Austin, I'll do it tomorrow. I need to make the beast mode emoji for one, and I don't want to do that in a hurry. I'll probably do it tomorrow.
Oh, yeah, DJU is going to get the starting job back, I'm sure. I'm sure he's going to get the starting job back. Yeah, we played the Niners on Thursday night. And that's not a uh that's not necessarily true, Jeffrey. Not necessarily. I think he's willing to change his plan. Remember, Waldron's running more of the offense this year. I don't really think about it that much, honestly. I don't really think about it in those terms. Yeah, we definitely did. Huh, I just tried to load my own stream on YouTube, and it's not right now. Ten minutes until the timer gets to ten hours. I am going to go a little past ten hours just to make sure. But I think we're right there. Man, I can't believe the Dodgers and Braves just tapped out of the playoffs so quickly. It's kind of crazy. That is true. Yeah, the margins are thin. Margins are thin. <clears throat> I'm not liking our chances against the Ducks. This defense might give up like 70. They really could.
Yeah, JC Jackson's going to get benched. You got to strike early. That's a great point. What's the pitching matchup tomorrow? If the Jets, I mean, look, <clears throat> I will say this. The Jets just won a very huge emotional, you know, kind of maybe even ear-turning, defining game against the Packers. They may be due for a letdown, but you still should be able to find a way to beat this Broncos team that can't score at all. <clears throat> Oh, Griffey was a more complete player. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, I don't know what to think of Zach. I want him to be good, but I don't know if he is. The hot dogs were just like $10. The hot dogs aren't bad. I didn't have a big problem with the hot dog pricing. A lot of other stuff, sure. Wait a second. Aren't you Ken Griffey Jr.? Sorry to get your hopes up, man. Not this time, Berg Show. Wait, what are you talking about, Austin?
What if Barry Bonds didn't get caught? He'd be in the Hall of Fame. Ever think about that? Huh? Yeah, that's a pretty good thing to have. It's got to be, Jeffrey, yeah. Lockett's playing. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Lakers are shooting 22% from three so far this year. All right, see you later, Jeffrey. Thank you for hanging out. Lakers didn't play tonight. All right. Thank you, Nolan. My OBS says we're at uh, 10 hours now, but I think it's a little bit behind, so we're not there quite yet. A few more minutes. I know uh, I was on Be Right Back for probably about an hour collectively throughout the day, but that's fine. I'm not going <clears> to... <throat> I'm not going to try to make an exception for that. Yeah, why wouldn't they bring him back? That seems like a no-brainer. Why did they do that? That seemed that seems like a bad idea. Yeah, Walker seems like he's due to have a good game. <clears throat> I agree with that. Yeah, Bose is not playing, guys. Which is a huge deal. Yeah, Diggs has got to start making some plays, man. People are turning on him fast. People are bailing on Quandre Diggs, and I'm not okay with that. He's better than this.
Is it really fair to call Aiden Hutchinson good yet? <clears throat> like, he hasn't done anything in the NFL. He's had one big game, and that was about it. Okay, I think we have now officially reached 10 hours. I think we have now gotten to 10 hours. And I think that's going to go ahead and kind of wrap it. So thank you everybody who's hanging out this late. <clears throat> thank you to everyone who popped by during the stream. I want to say I didn't do giveaways in this stream because halfway through I realized probably don't want to be doing giveaways on a stream that usually doesn't have that many people in it. So I want to do it tomorrow or, yeah, tomorrow during the uh, Chargers postgame video. So if you want to get involved in some giveaways, show up to that video at some point. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll do some stuff to kind of celebrate the uh, 10K. But, um, yeah, <clears throat> I'm going to get out of here. We did really well. Picked up some new subs. We're almost up to uh, 10,200. Picked up some new memberships. Got well over $200 in donos. So I'd call that a all-around success. Even though we never had more than like 100 people in here at one time, obviously people were trickling in and out all night, all day. So yeah, we're probably going to do that, uh, the giveaways tomorrow during the Chargers postgame stream. That's the plan. And yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow. Probably a video in the morning, and then I am going to see you guys after the game. <clears throat>